like I'm like a pillar of health. Like, like, you're talking about sucking your own dick. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're talking about me sucking my own dick, and I'm not talking about it. <laughs> we can I hear that. <laughs> yeah, we can hear that. We that, but we could hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I think in order for us not to hear it, the if you have the green light off, let's try it again. Fuck it. It's all right if it's live. Turn off the green light and then play it and see if you can still hear it, but we can't. Let's try one more time. Yep. Go on live. Womp, womp, womp. Yeah, I can't hear it now. One, you can? Two, three, yeah, see, that's how you got to do it. If you if you want us to hear it, the green light has to be on. Gotcha. But you hear everything, whether it's on or not. Nice. Let's go, baby. I feel like I'm roasting O'Leary over here. This is well, like I the love roast I love O'Leary. O'Leary. No, it's <laughs> not the roast. Of, I, Come on, O'Leary. O'Leary. We live on the book. Come on. <laughs> The roast of O'Leary. I love the roast of O'Leary over here. Do you? Jay's I a, do. He's a tough dude to roast. Why you know? you say that? Because uh, he's clever, you know. So he's got good comebacks, and he does. And Look he doesn't, you know. He's not a he's not a pussy, so it doesn't bother him really. You know, it's like really. That's what makes a good roast when you like really zing somebody. Yeah. Really. Mm-hmm. Actually, I guess maybe you're a good person to roast then, because you can take it without getting emotional. Yeah. Uh, so. What do you think? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe you and I should go to Club Electricity. Yeah. Someday, I'll yeah. teach. I'll show you the ropes. All right. Yeah. I want. I want to see the ropes. Show me the ropes. The problem is, those ropes are going to be inside of you. So, uh, don't show me Dude, the ropes. I watched the girl get tased while she was getting fucked. Like that's just that's just wrong. Like Man, you that. Just, you just that's go from hurt. like. Speaking of tasers, when I was um, like, there's no. In when between. I was when I was a kid, when I was like 16, you just go right I it. um, I had a cookout, and all my boys came over. And one of them brought a taser. And it it's as stupid as you think it would look. You yeah. know, like a bunch of 16, 17 year old like boys. Like a police taser? Running around my backyard tasing each other. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, it didn't hurt? It hurt. Yeah, it hurt. <laughs> like, but imagine fuck. getting it fucked. It wasn't, getting put it this way. It wasn't like that. a. Oh, can we just hold, just hold <laughs> off on the second? 10 seconds, for Christ's sake. She can't. Like, Jesus Christ, you horny fuck. Wait a minute. Um, it, was, uh, it wasn't a police grade one. It looked kind of like a flashlight in the end. Flashlight. So, like, if I, um, if, I, if I hit it in your leg, like, you'd be like, oh, fuck. And then you'd take it off eventually. Yeah. So it hurt, but it wasn't, like, debilitating, you know? It wasn't going to disable you. Maybe Imagine being try. disabled and getting fucked. That's magnetic. <laughs> like just everything's like just sex. I mean, we can day. do that right now. I'm say. dyslexic, so I talk about other subjects here other like than what? sex. <laughs> Whatever you want to talk about, oh Larry, what would you like to talk about with me? Uh, Don't get distracted here. Yeah. You probably take it off. Until I'm an open book. Stuff. What would you like to Are talk you? about? You pick a you pick a subject and I'll elaborate. Yeah. Tell me. What All would right. you like to talk about? Let's talk about Mm-hmm. Sex, mm-hmm. baby. Let's talk about you <laughs> and me. Here's and I, I'm the one talking about sex here, right? <laughs> Seriously. No. What do you do? I, so I know that you're very active. You very work active. out a lot. I do. Yeah, I noticed yeah. that. Too. You're She's in great shape. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I like that your kids are into it too. That's what's up. You like that? Yeah. Don't um, we need to teach these kids more? My kids are athletes, but they're right? doing a right. My kids are athletes, but you you got your guys working in the off season and shit. That's dope. Right? I love it. Who do they play for? What football team? Atterbury Hawks. Oh, they suck though. Yeah, it's they do. The, yeah, they the do. Black Hawks or just Hawks? The Hawks. Yeah. But it's a growing program. But you know what? These kids need guidance, right? We all. <laughs> like they suck. Do they I'm not? Just kidding. You're no, like, they, they, do. Really do. no they, <laughs> they really do. No, they they really do. But they need some work. But you know what? It's all right. Like I, you learn so much from youth sports anyway. You do. It, it sounds cliche. I but hate it's not youth really sports, about, Pilates. Do you know why they're a bunch of fucking pussies? That's Who's their problem. Well, it's a, you gotta the, get them the right association is a fucking bunch of pussies. You give everyone a trophy for I mean, what? You're in South Atterbury, what right? are you giving everyone a trophy for nowadays? That's just to the kids well, who that's, work. That's what, just, what does that's that prove? The parents, though. Yeah, agreed. Because you can like, you know, my my youngest son, his first year of wrestling, mm-hmm. he finished one tournament in, like second place mm-hmm. by like a technicality or something. He wanted to get his medal, and I'm like, bro, get the fuck out of here. We're you, out of here, bro. But that's what I mean. You, you need, is? yeah, you need to earn it. What are you teaching these kids? And then these kids who play in, you Brandone. know. Brandon. We'll get you a trophy, <laughs> Brand, baby. Is Brandon on here? Nice trophy. This shape. Brandon. Hi, Brandon. I love I Brandon. Some Brandon. Who I love Brandon. Everybody loves Brandon. He I fixes. Think loves no, Brandon. seriously. He's the best IT guy we have in the company. He is he the IT guy, though? <laughs> he, <laughs> he, is. he fixes. No, he fixes everything. I, I was just saying this about Brandon. Uh, the last meeting that we had. Like Brandon's one of those people that will just won't ever say no to anybody. No, I know he's awesome. So like that, like that means everybody leans on him because they know that he'll like. No, come but through. like he but just he, he like does that. everything. I love him. Yeah, I, don't, I think it's good for us. Bad for Brandon. You know, like, <laughs> at least twice a week, I'll just text him code red. Like if any of my tech <laughs> shit is not working right. 
<laughs> we and do then it five too. seconds later, I'm like, actually, we're good. He's like, oh, that was quick. I'm like, yeah, it wasn't on. He just <laughs> spot the problem on, in like two seconds. I'm like, how the fuck do you know what's wrong with my computer? He's like, oh, that's wrong. And I'm like, he's like a Mac guru. I'd be like, I have no idea. But Brandon, we love you. He knows. Don't talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in your lane, bitch. <laughs> wow, I like it. I like it, Pilates. I, I see. I could hang out with you guys. I so, could. I could do. You you look like a uh, what's that word? I'm like uh cro- like. Do you ever do crack? Crack it. Crack it. You ever do crack? I have done cross. Yeah, you yeah, remind me of Eminem's mom and eight mile. <laughs> <laughs> I have done CrossFit, absolutely. Yeah. But how often do you work out? Six days a week, mm. sometimes seven, depending. My kids do four and I do six. Nice. nice. Sometimes That's I take a day awesome. off, sometimes I don't. Good for you. You know yeah. what? That's the part of my life that is obviously lacking right now. <laughs> it's all mental, baby. It's so all many in good your head. Going on. It's all part of like, your routine in life now. It right? is. It's, like, it's you, all that I do. Do you feel fucked up when you don't work out? Yeah. Yeah. And then if I drink, it takes me like five days to recover. See, that's my problem. Wow. I have it the opposite. <laughs> I know way. it really does. Like, I feel fucked up if I don't drink. And if I work <laughs> out, it takes me five days to recover. <laughs> like, after softball on Monday nights, bro, I'm cooked for the week. You play in a softball league? Yeah. Where? Ish. I play ish. What's ish? Is uh, that technicality? It means I'm good for two innings out there. You know, All right. maybe one and a third if we're what, taking too what, long. What base do you play? Whatever one is closer to the dugout wearing, <laughs> either third or first. <laughs> I like it. I'm not That's fucking strategic. with you, bro. I like it. <laughs> if anybody from the softball team is watching, I'll tell do you. Do you play softball? No, I don't no. play softball. I play yeah. volleyball, pickle, pickleball. No. You guys pickleball. play pickleball? I don't even know what I've that is. I've seen that shit. Are you serious? That's white people shit, bro. Is it? Yeah. What That's is not it? white shit. I didn't say white shit. I said white people shit. Oh, well, that's not white people shit. Can you explain to us all, what pickleball all is? All ethnicities Bring up a play of this. Pickleball. Let's yeah, see please play. Please. Pickleball please. team. Just put pickleball Pickle- team. Are you saying that what? There's got to be not ethnicities in there. Is it that what sound, you're going to be sounds saying? Sounds like a white person game. Oh yeah. But can you pick? Can you that not dude put is a still white. Oh, wait. Let's can be clear. Not, that dude's still can, white. Look. What, count, whoa, bro. What's on the end? What, what's on the see. end? Let's have that oh, conversation. End. What's okay, on okay. the end over there? You Very better really di- enunciate the D in that <laughs> word. <laughs> Sounds like you're saying that. What? All diversities are in there, right? I don't we know. We have about white, that, black, dude. and Asian. Do we not? I don't know about That's that black guy. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong here? What's wrong with this photo sure, right here? Sure. I don't know. What is it? Like large ping pong? It, what, pretty much. It's basically. a cross it's between, like between badminton, tennis and yeah, and badminton and stuff like that. It's bad, a f- oh it's, yeah, those are definitely not white people sports. It, it's badminton. <laughs> Why does it have to be white people? <laughs> Why can, everyone can play these sports? Yeah, everybody can. It's just some don't. Yeah, the so. pro in this is 16 years old. She's absolutely phenomenal. That's just to watch it. It's not a real sport. What do you mean it's not a real sport? Because she's 16? Yeah. Have you seen her play? I'm she's just saying if a, if a child can be the best at something in the world, it's probably not that athletic. That's not true. Yes, it she, is. She earned it. She worked for it. I Go, understand. Anna Lee Walters, please. It's probably more please. of a... A what? I don't know. Like a, <laughs> Look at a her. hand-eye coordination type thing. It versus... is. I, I, I'll, I'll give you that. Absolutely. But she's the best. Look at her. Look at her. That's not athletic. I don't know. They're just standing there. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Wait. it looks like I could play pickleball if I tried. Maybe. Yeah. You, you like, know what? This is, this is your new calling right No, here. but that's kind of the baseline. If I can do it, it's not that athletic. Like, <laughs> You're selling I can yourself. barely golf. Wait. I hate golf. Too, huh? I do golf, too. Yeah. yeah, I do. I do. Look. So, see? They do a third shot drop. They do a smash. <laughs> okay. What, <laughs> what are you saying okay, okay for? Like, I'm sorry. I just... <laughs> Hey, you know what? Listen, listen. All right, so you're telling me golf is more athletic than pickleball? Fuck no. 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 Oh, okay. So golf isn't even athletic at all. It's not. It's just a game. It's, it's mental. Not even, it's yeah, hard. Yeah, it yeah. is a hard well, sport all, yeah. if you want to I don't know. Those pros, bro, they usually walk. Yeah. That's a <laughs> lot have. of fucking walking. That's yeah. good for them, though. Is it yeah. not? They have That's to. It's, uh, I think it's just based on it's not athletic compared to... What you normally think of with athletic, it's not like explosiveness and speed. Power. Mm-hmm. It's, it's kind of like flexibility. Right. And, so, what and do you technique. guys think about beach volleyball? Then that's definitely that's it. a sport. Yeah, that's a sport. Oh, okay, that's a sport. That's one of the yeah. greatest sports on earth, you said especially you women's beach volleyball. Yes, I've played beach Who's volleyball. Who's that chick that uh, she used to play EPT all the time? The Filipino chick, uh, Ashley White. Oh yeah, she's in Florida now. Yep, yeah, she Ashley Markley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. yeah, she got married to name? Chris. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. She moved to Florida. She, she plays was on TV time. for poker. Yeah, too. she did. She does very well. Yeah, dope, very, dope. very, very good. All right. You know what's crazy? When I was younger, Deep I used to, to play TV. almost every sport, and now I'm just fat and old now and do shit. That's all right, man. <laughs> it's all you mental, s- Jay. It's yeah. all mental. It's all you re- in your hey, brain. Like I played you, basketball. You hit, the, you hit the ski slopes with the best of them. <laughs> 
Nice. You can really tear, tear up some fresh powder, buddy. That's right. <laughs> Do you ski? Yeah. What kind of ski? In the movie theater next to my <laughs> boys. That, <laughs> um, that kind of ski? Yeah. Ooh, do you I snowboard? Like it. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't do anything. I, I'm just like a big blob of fucking useless flesh. How don't you know you're at Foxwoods every other fucking day? Mm. How, how do you, you do anything? You don't do yeah, racquetball. Right. You don't swim. You don't play <laughs> golf. You don't do any. I used to any of the activities they have there for you, bro? <laughs> no, I don't do shit. You don't even go to the pool when you're there. No, I do go to the pool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why do you go to the pool? Sit and drink. Just fucking women out there. Mm. Ugh. Mm. Foxwoods bitches. Seriously. Mm. No. Like, mm. Seriously? Yeah. You going to Vegas anytime soon? I don't know why you're going to go. I'm going in September. Yeah, you going with? My aunt. And friends. Oh. Sounds Where like a party. Yeah, there's going to be a party. Mm. It is. You're not going with the... Uh, no, I'm peace uh, staying home. Nope. Nice. No? nice. We have our separate things. We do our separate things. Yeah, you like know? what? What do you guys do different? Like, uh, like club, golf, club electric? Play, no, we do not go to club electricity together. together. <laughs> we, <laughs> <laughs> that was before him. That was way before him. That we club electricity. Does That's, he know about it though? Of course he does. He knows no, everything. He, he still took Is that you how he met you? He knows. I'm no, <laughs> like still took you. <laughs> no, that's not how he met me. We met through volleyball. Nope. He knows everything about my past. There's no secrets. There's no so nothing. He, he checked the Carfax and he still went with it. He did. Good, he good. checks it. Right? You got to do your him. research, right? Yeah. Some people have some skeletons in their closet, right, O'Leary? I don't have any skeletons. Mm-hmm. I, have, I go by saying, those who have nothing to hide, hide nothing. Wow, you're so wise. <laughs> so philosophical. <laughs> like, thank you, so Socrates. You fucking fat fuck. <laughs> thank you, Socrates. Wow. <laughs> you I'm out here with socks and jeans. <laughs> Wow, um, you guys. I don't know about so you. Tell us what happens in Club Electricity. I know you started for a little bit, and then we kind of, I know it's a so it's, joint. So what I found interesting, it was BYOB. So you give your booze Bring to your the... your own bu- bitch. Are you, <laughs> well, true, that's true, too. Okay, but we're talking about alcohol. So you give the, um, the alcohol to the bartender, and he brings you every other drink. Like, he'll bring you tequila, then he'll bring you a water, then he'll bring you tequila. Is there a fee? Is there a what? A poor fee? Like, no, no, there's no poor fee, but like... For is there sing- a rich fee? <laughs> What's a rich fee? Like the a poor fee, fee, but a person with money. No, there's not a rich fee. So for single males, I think it's like 90 to get in. Couples is 60. And for a female, I think it's like 40 to get in. Well, that's sexist. It is a little racist. I will I will agree. I sexist. Both, in my opinion. Why? Do they charge black people more? <laughs> like, why does <laughs> it have to be black people? Why can't it be like Chinese? It could no. be anything. <laughs> and so there's about like 10 different rooms. And you go in and these there's a bunch of... Activities going on that you know. I mean, uh, you just walk in and be like, "Hey, somebody yep. touch me." So if there's a line, there's like a you know the line at the movie theater, like there's like that <laughs> line. You line do, <laughs> you know, what you, the fuck are you doing? She goes, "You know the line at the movie theater." <laughs> What are you? What like, movies are you gonna go watch? Yeah, bro. I want to go to your movie theaters. <laughs> Holy shit! The Pee Wee so, Herman and you just theater, some bro. of the lines you can't cross if people are fucking. And but if the line isn't there, then you can go in and participate on if they allow you to. Then I mean, they you have. Ask you mean like, like, like oh, that's a weird. No, you just go in if they're fucking. You can actually join them. It, it it's free. It's a free for all. Oh, a so it's kind of like a, but it's, it's like a, a vacant thing. Like, yeah, hey, like either. Y- we're accepting people or we're <laughs> oh, not. And, and then you can do a couple swap. So if you go as a couple, you can swap partners if you want to do that. Then they have a Jesus room, I called it, where Jesus a girl uh, <laughs> where a girl was att- like literally attached like to the cross. Crucified. And you could go up and you could do whatever you wanted to her. Like Somebody just anyone. And bangs nails into her hands. <laughs> <laughs> no, her side. The guy was actually whipping her with one of the lashes. Like, she, And I was just like... Girl, like, never, never would I ever be on this fucking Hey, the weirdest pole. shit that I've ever experienced was this uh, strip joint in Texas. I went in there. It was a BYOB also. They brought me down into, like, some dungeon and, you know, <laughs> below everything. And next thing you know, I had, to like, blow fucking, everything? <laughs> below everything? Like, below everything. Oh, like, the club. I knew it. <laughs> to I blow like, everybody in the club. That? <laughs> uh, the, the last thing I, actually, the only thing I remember, I, because I was drinking so much, was I just had clothespins on my nipples. I was shirtless, tied up against the wall, and I had clothespins on my nipples. Oh, reminds me of episode oh 12. You shouldn't have it on your dick. Yeah, I might have. Oh, okay. That sounds like a good night. No? I, I mean, don't, if, I you don't, don't if you don't remember it, it fucked right? Up, yeah. But you know what's even more fucked up? Tinder. That is even a plethora of fucking crazy people. What? I'm sure. Please. No, like, no, above and beyond my pay grade. Put it Why? like that. A bit. <laughs> There were a couple, we're going to just say, there were a couple of people on Tinder that a person wanted to suck my period blood. Okay. okay. No, yeah. that's fucking, that's, no. You know no. what? 
No. I'm just starting to realize, like... That's gross. There, you just have no limits. You just, <laughs> <laughs> no matter what we're talking no. about, you just tell take it to all... It, that, tell me that's not fucking disgusting. Well, if you're a vampire, it's not that bad. I, where are vampires in this world? Do you identify as a, va- a, a vampire? I don't, Why, you on your I don't think it's that gross. Pilates. It's a little disgusting. Pilates. Yeah, nah, it's pretty gross. That's pretty disgusting. I mean, no. We'll do, we'll, well, you never ate out a chick yeah, when no. she was uh, no. at Red no. River down Crack no. Canyon? No. No. Why do I want... I don't want blood in my face. I no. don't want nothing. I don't even want it to squirt in my face. Why the fuck would I want I fucking... Like, I like that. I'm into that. Yeah. Yeah. What, squirting? Yeah. But then it gets all over I my comforter, know. and I have a $500 comforter. I'd be fucking whoa, whoa, whoa. pissed. I'm This pissed. is not rocket science. Take the thing off the bed. What if I don't do know? It? So if the bitch didn't tell me. Oh, well, I mean, I always know it's the same person every time. Well, <laughs> that's different. Say you didn't know. And We're she ruined planning. your comforter. I have a fucking Vera Wang comforter. If she ruined my comforter, I'm, I would be pissed. I'm the one. pussy. What am I supposed to do? Put a garbage bag down? No, take the comforter off the bed. <laughs> Just assume that you know your capabilities of what she's going to do. That's, that's what I do. Does. You put a towel on the fucking bed. It, yeah. What if you don't know? You what am I supposed to do? Put a, so what am I supposed to do? Wait, wait, honey. Well, let me on. put a towel in. No, no, no. How, how do you not know? Like, it's you're the one that's doing it. So if it's the first time you're sleeping with some broad, you're telling me well, that. Well, it's based you, on your capabilities. Either you're going to do it or you're not. I don't know if she's going to squirt in my fucking face. Well, then you have to practice your consistency. Because, like, I know she's going to every time because I'm going to go through. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do my sales pitch every time the same way. You got to look at the data. <laughs> Right? What, what is it, a tally? Tally, tally <laughs> sheet, and I just bar graph it? Like, what the fuck? And then how do you, you know you're done if she doesn't? Like, how do you, what do you just stop? I, I don't know. It's like, all right, that was cool. I have no idea. But then I had, an, listen, I had another one that wanted to wrap me in a diaper, li- literally make me piss and shit in the diaper, then put a pacifier in my mouth, and then fuck me. Mm. This is on Tinder, Okay. Think about that for a second. A very interesting life. No, the I. This is. I feel like my life is boring. <laughs> this was before. This was way before. This before was what? four years ago. Before I'm. Before I was today? in a relationship. No, before I was in a relationship. <laughs> before you showed up. <laughs> no. <laughs> before I got here. <laughs> no. But what if someone wanted to wrap you in a diaper? What if some girl said to you, Jay, I want to wrap you in a diaper. You got to piss and shit in the diaper. Whatever. Whatever. You piss and shit in the diaper, yeah, and then I'm piss and shit all over her. And then you put it. And then you put a pacifier in your mouth. How hot's the girl? Yeah. I don't give a fuck how hot she is. You ain't pissing shit in a diaper? I mean, it depends who's asking. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not sucking a dildo. What's yeah. wrong with dildos? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with dildos, but I'm just not sucking it. Why not? Some I girls find that hot. So then what's the difference what if two finds. lesbians are fucking riding one another? Tell me. With a dildo. Well, those are very different than him that's, sucking yeah. a dildo. <laughs> that's completely different than me <laughs> sucking a dildo. <laughs> These are the weirdest comparisons I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm so, just saying, Jay. You're pretty big in the whole sex life stuff. I you, was. You've experienced I a lot, w- I've had a lot of, yes. And yeah. I'm, you know what? What's the weirdest shit you ever did? Me personally? Got or, or <laughs> <laughs> Settled down? <laughs> no, I, you know what? It is a little different. I'm not going to lie, but I'm, I'm the happiest I've ever been. But like, it feels don't like get this me is wrong. like a release for you. Been I waiting know. to talk about this shit for like, <laughs> Her confession. This is, yeah, Jesus. So I've been Jesus fucking playing can't pickleball for the last four years. <laughs> God damn it. There's nothing Let wrong with pickleball. Relive my glory days. Yeah, so. I didn't have a boring life. But when I separated, I had never. I was with someone for so long. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to go out and experience and have fun. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, no, and this, didn't. I feel bad for single people now. I really Why? do, because everyone's fucking crazy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They don't want to settle down. No one. Everyone just wants to fucking have fun. I don't think that's you know? true. You don't think so? I mean, I'm not. I don't really have the perspective of a single person, but I know a good amount of single people. Hmm. You know? Are you single? I think people are just settling um, a little less. You know, like they're not settling right. just for somebody. You know, it's kind of like the choice of, hey, do you want to settle for anybody mm. or be happy until you find a person that is making you like sure about this person? You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you single? Uh, yeah, technically, yeah. Technically, yeah. single and love. ready to mingle. I love your wording. Technically, does that mean you're with someone, or does that not? It mean? just means that I'm um, I'm very selective. Very I get turned off very easily. So, what type of broad do you like? Wait, that still doesn't explain why you said technically. Either you're single or you're not. <laughs> what does that answer? Oh well, you know, I'm talking here and there. Doing all this, doing so, what type that. of broad do you like? Uh, I don't like any kind of broad. I like a woman. I like a lady. You what know? kind? Yeah. Um, There's all different kinds of breeds. What do you like? The, I'm like old school. I like vagina. 
That's not oh, a breed. Like I mean, like, I, that's not a breed. Uh, oh, Larry. What kind of woman do you like? Biological. We'll <laughs> yeah. start there. We'll start there. That's a good start. You identify as one. <laughs> um, it's funny. Like, you might have to actually have to explain it that way. Yes. What yes. if you actually did fuck a dude and she really was a girl? What if I accidentally fucked a dude? What Wait, you, if it was a girl. Like, well, I didn't if even it realize was I was girl, holding a stick out of the Because way. they're doing some really good work nowadays. Like, no, some... Not. Yes, they are. You can't even tell that then some women... Listen, then you don't I'm deserve in. to know. If you can't tell, you don't deserve but to what know. What if that happened? It happens in Miami all the time. No offense. What? But like you go to fuck a girl. Go to fuck a girl, do? but it's really a dude. What would you do? I'd press charges. <laughs> no, I would say I was raped. I'd say I was I didn't consent to having sex with a dude. You can't press charges. I'm sure you can. <laughs> you I'd sue him then if I can't press I don't charges. Know what, I would do. I what would you do, right? That's kind of a fear, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. You're the one talking about biological women over here. Like Yeah. What I, if it I, wasn't I prefer a- biological yeah. What, what if you were just out at the bar and like you were kissing some chick, blah blah blah, and then she told you she was a dude? Yeah, what would you do? I would probably kill that person. You think you'd hit him? <laughs> you'd hit oh, him? Oh yeah. Just because they didn't tell you? Yeah. That they were a dude beforehand? Uh, yeah. Well, that's deceitful, and I don't like that. All right. So <laughs> I don't like that. okay. So we determined like first it. is biological a woman. So then, what else do you like? In a woman, do you like them athletic? Do you like them blonde? Do you like them red? Do you like them you like, thick? Do you like do you... them named Megan? Do you like them? They go on podcasts. Do not <laughs> do not date a Megan. Let me give you some advice right now. I like if curvy women. Me- if she's Megan, run. I like curvy women. I'm into dark hair, light eyes. All right. Um, feminine, definitely feminine. I can't. I you know I yeah. Little things will just like fucking facial hair turns me off. What kind of facial hair are you talking Beards. about? Why? W- <laughs> like yours. No. <laughs> what if she's got like the sash, like a little bit of like peach fuzz? Well, everybody's, like, right got here. everybody's got peach fuzz all over their face, all over their body. But no, I mean, the whole fucking face waxed. I was recently with, uh, not recently, well, recently within the last year um, with somebody and she had some hairy nipples and I just couldn't do it. I was like, no hey, way. Why didn't you yeah. just shave them? What do you mean just shave No, because then they're stubble. It's even almost yeah, worse. Yeah, Wax them? No. no. Did you tell her? Yeah, you just got to chalk it up to this isn't going to work. Um, no, I didn't tell her. Just, uh, she knows now. See? See? Here's the problem. Communication. No, but why tell her? She can't fix it. She can shave them or wax them. They're yes, going to grow can. back. She can wax them. It's going to grow back. Laser. No, it's There's always going to grow back. There's a million different things you can do to remove something you don't want nowadays. Yeah, but it's going to come back no matter The reality what. is that if she even... I don't want her to do it for me. I want her to do it because that's the way she is. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, yeah. right. Because so then could, it's like you guys get into a fight. She's like, I'm not waxing my nipples this week. Now what do you do? She's like, you get hairy nipples. <laughs> Most women don't have hairy nipples, by the way. I think. Oh, I know. No, it was definitely her <laughs> That was a dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that was. It was, me, it was definitely her ethnicity. It was, uh, you know. Yeah, Portuguese. Yeah. Prone to. Greek. <laughs> Greeks are hairy. Do you have a d- certain ethnicity you like? Uh, typically Hispanic. Hispanic, yeah. Yeah, I could tell. I knew it. Those are the crazy ones, Larry. Yeah. Well, it's just because they can be. Yeah. It's true. Um, They're just hot. They get a bonus, you know? They can be what do you crazy. Like? What kind of women did you like? <laughs> did I like? I liked athletic. Yeah. You had to be in my ball field, you know? What else? What <laughs> That's pre- that was pretty much it. I had just a, wa- a six pack and you're it's done? Just- <laughs> like, no, athletic. <laughs> <laughs> what if they were athletic in the sense of like, like the art of sumo wrestling? Or is it, are you specific to any t- sports? Like, no, what if it, was it, was, it was more like big ass, big titties, and curvy type okay. thing. That, so it has nothing to do with athletic. Well, you have to be <laughs> athletic that. too. Like, I, I, I have to have something in common with you. You know what I'm saying? You so, like, an interest in sports. They, sport. You have to be okay. sports. Like, you know, you can do push ups on their titties or something, or fucking sit up, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You push ups wow. on my titties. <laughs> no, but have you ever done a push up on a girl's titties? No. Please, why would I do that? Please don't ask me. <laughs> that bitch would not be alive anymore. A push up on her titties. Yeah, you never done? You never pushed up on some titties? No, no you actually, on some titties, no, you actually I mean, had to do like a push up. On her titties. Oh, wow. Well, no. Why That's the dumbest that? thing I've ever heard in my life. Are you saying? You <laughs> learned that, you learned that at the electric disco place? <laughs> no. Where the fuck you go? <laughs> no. Wow. I've done so, I <laughs> told like you, I said some fucked up let's shit, Let's do man. some naked CrossFit in here yeah. on each other. <laughs> you ever do a sit-up into a girl's ass? Sit-up <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> into a girl's ass. <laughs> Pull up off a shaft. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you doing, Megan? 
Mm-hmm. I told you I've done some fucked up shit, man. I've done some fucked up shit. And Sounds like you had a lot of fun doing it though. I did. Yeah. I did. I Sounds used to like make I just used gum. to make videos too of these girls and I used to just fucking be an asshole. Hey, just like Bring up did. one of her videos. Just <laughs> Yeah, where are the videos? I <laughs> I don't have any of them. They've been deleted. You're full all, of shit. All hey, of them have. OF I've, website. <laughs> my Tinder, my not all of these have been deactivated. You, you won't find. Fans? You want? You know what? That's a good. That's a lucrative <laughs> business, and I feel my one of my best friends does it. She paid off her car. She paid off everything. Oh, you yeah. want more pops to her? Sex work is the you know oldest what? profession in the world. She gets paid a lot of money to do her thing. You know I what? Would, I don't even like the word. She gets paid. She just goes and earns it. You know what I mean? That's like. Sometimes all she has to do is show her fucking feet. Like, are you kidding me? I'll show my fucking feet yeah, and you rich. can pay me, right? My girl's got a feet mm-hmm. account. What's what wrong with that? Me? Nothing. I don't find anything wrong with that. You have a you have an account? Uh, what? No, I'm not into feet. No, He's a user. Not. You're a user? He's a user. Who do you follow? Uh, I don't use. I don't, I don't follow. I don't <laughs> you don't follow no one out here? I'm, so I'm telling you. I'm, listen, I'm... So I, swear on your life there's not a picture of my feet, maybe even more than one in your phone right now. <laughs> well, you sent it to me. <laughs> You could have deleted it. I told you, I'm old school. I'm like, you could have deleted it. You know, I, I don't, I don't, I'm getting on the Raise your hand if you have a picture of my feet in your phone right now. <laughs> Definitely not me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like feet? It's like it's my background. No. 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 no, no, no. No, you don't like feet? No. 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 I, don't, I, don't like I told you, I'm old school. I just like vagina. vagina that gets tits. boring, though. It's boring. It's a For boring who? thing. It's oh. just, when you have too much of it, it's just fucking boring. You might have. Been playing with the wrong vagina. Um, and <laughs> Coming from a man, like, we don't ever get bored of vaginas. I'm telling you, when you're doing it for sport instead of pleasure, sport, it's a problem. For sport, yeah. Like, I'm not a like, vagina athlon I'm expert. I'm a fucking gold medalist in vaginas. <laughs> you sound like you are. You seem like you like vagina. I, I mean, no, I do. Uh, I don't know. I've been, it's been 17 years, same vagina. And every day I wake up and thinking, I, I like, commend you for that. I do. How do I bang her today? You what know what? I, gotta do? I commend him for that. Do I, I buy do. breakfast? Do I say something nice? Do I clean something? How do I bang her today? <laughs> do I, I save her when she's time. yelling at the kids? Do I step in? We'll figure this thing out. It's tough for men. It's really tough for men. It's not. It's well, it's actually a very it easy thing to do. It's it's been a lot easier over the past you know, couple of years. Right? Women. Once I started. What is it, O'Leary? Physical, <laughs> mental, and emotional. Easier. Right? Those are the three concepts of women. Right? Sure. And you have to satisfy all three of them. And for men, it's what? What is men? Suck them, fuck them, eat them. Eat eat them. Listen to me. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, eat them. I'm like, no, no, feed them, right? Suck them, fuck them, feed them, right? It's a very easy concept. It's just people don't want to put in the work sometimes. That's not not true. That's not how men think. Really? Oh, please enlighten me how you dudes think. Um, I don't know if you're capable of being enlightened. You seem like your mind is pretty made up. No, I'm open. But, I mean, coming from myself... (laughs) Oh, so there's a limit. Yeah. <laughs> I identify as a female. Oh, um, no, I You're mean, really dude. <laughs> it might it might just be an older thing, too, because some bitches are just stupid. You know what I mean? Like, agree. you look at them like, kinda like almost like kids where you can't even get past that. Like they could even be physically attractive, you know, nice tits, nice ass. And you're still like, this is just a fucking kid. I agree. You know, I don't agree with you. But I agree. I don't men. agree with you. I'm I agree. I, I don't agree with you. I agree. I don't agree. Yeah, that's getting clipped. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we how why it's hard to understand women, bro. Right. I agree. I don't agree with you. <laughs> no, I just proved God, it. explain that. Wait, I wait. just I just proved it to you. That's all. We're all just a level of crazy. It's how you want to deal with us. Yeah. That's all. Right. I don't know. I think women are pretty easy to deal with. Very really? emotional creatures. Yeah. We are. Yeah. We are? I think I think you provide security and appreciation. Not really much more. You know, women want to feel desired. You know, I don't get me wrong, my girl's always, you know, she's super desirable, but I it's easy to get lost in the shuffle of life and, you know, forget mm-hmm. to acknowledge that enough. Mm-hmm. So I'll make sure that, you know, I acknowledge it and, and I let her know that she's desired. It's not just because she's here, it's because she's Maybe you should teach a class. Maybe uh, well, mar- listen, no, marriage. No, no, I'm 101. only telling you the good mar- stuff. I'm marriage. not telling you all the shit that I fuck up at. Marriage you know? 101 by Josh Pilati here. No. <laughs> you no? know, like a little simple thing. Like every morning at the same time, I text her, "Good morning, beautiful." You know, because just cause. same exact time mm-hmm. every day. Well, because it's automated in my phone and it just happens. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I went like that. four months before she realized. She's like, "Is that shit happening automatic?" I'm like, "Why do you say that?" She's like, "Cause <laughs> your phone's not near you, and I'm with you, and I just got a text from you." I'm like, oh. 
you got me. <laughs> but at least you thought about it. You know That's what I'm it. saying? It was the thought that count in that. Do you box. like those yeah. like things? Like you know, every day he automated do, text. Kevin yeah. does that for me every single day. He texts me. He tells me he loves me. He tells That's me I'm name? beautiful. Kevin, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's absolutely fabulous. Nice. I would even marry fabulous. him. Fabulous? Would you? I would. I would. If he asks me, he has to ask me first. Oh shit, Kevin! Don't watch this, bro. <laughs> this is a setup. <laughs> This, is. this poor dude, bro. <laughs> what do you mean, this poor dude? He's the luckiest man on earth. He no, has me. No, I know, but like to no, but no dude ever wants to hear like if he asked me, I would say yes. <laughs> he it's knows. Like pressure's on now, bro. No, there's no pressure. Get off I, the pot. No, not what if at all. He, what if he doesn't want to get married? You okay with oh, that? I'm totally cool with that. Oh, so you're just all right. It wasn't high on my list to get married. Nice. You know, I just wanted. But to, you would. I would. I'd marry him. That's the only man I would marry. Interesting. Interesting, right? What separates him from, let's say, any other guy you've been with before? He's loving. He's caring. He just doesn't want to fuck me and then leave me. Good <laughs> thing you said that second part. <laughs> I felt like you paused a little. He just doesn't want to fuck me. I'm like, that's a problem. <laughs> no. And then leave me. He's oh, just, yeah. you know, he's just a genuine sweet guy, and I always used to date assholes, you know? Are you attracted to assholes? I, I was. I was. was gym, um, gym rat assholes. What was his situation before you? Was he like adventurous like that? That he, you know, mm. slay his way through the town too? Yeah, he did his thing. So he did his thing. He was married. He got divorced, type thing. But he's fabulous. You two are, you two are just like <laughs> found your way to each other. Found a way to each other, right? Yeah. Love doesn't happen very often. Are you guys in love? I am. Nah, oh, I, you don't believe in love. I love him. No, I do, and he I'm loves like, me. Like I don't believe in love. <laughs> I'm just kind of getting I'm getting used to my girl being around. <laughs> Stop it. How long you been married? Not married. Technical. Eh, it's my boo. 17 years, I think. Mm. Since 07, yeah. 16 years. That's a long time, man. It's a very long time. I'm proud of you, though. Proud of you. Thanks. I'm proud. Person that I just met. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> no, I'm proud of a man being with one girl for that amount of time, because that's hard. Well, that's hard sometimes. You should be proud of her. It's probably harder for her <laughs> than it is for me, if I had to be honest. I'm just She's saying. really easy to live with. I'm sure that I'm not. I mean, think about that. One vagina, like you say, for the rest of your life. That's tough. You make that's sure tough, you right? You to make sure it's a good one. Uh, Even if it's good, right? That's in all the women in this world, well, right? Well, if it's good, I mean, what's the alternative? Try to chase good vagina or have... You know? Yeah, but that's one for the rest of your life. Think about that. What's the difference? Because <laughs> have to think about it. He lives it. Yeah. I understand that, but there's many other options out there. If you no, get sometimes my sometimes I dress it up and paint it a little bit. <laughs> what, do you, what, you, what do you? What do you? Bedazzle it. <laughs> Season it up some. <laughs> Throw a little sasson on. It. <laughs> Hi, what do you paint it as? I'm curious. A different vagina. A t- <laughs> Chinese vagina. <laughs> <laughs> what do you Megan Fox with Jen. You know what? I just put a picture we just of had Oscar a conversation. From the over Me and Kevin had a conversation about <laughs> Megan Fox. I think she's one of the most beautiful girls on the face of this earth. Yeah. Well, she's all right. Dark hair, light eyes. That's Are my you shit. kidding me? She's all, all right. She's, she's like a 10 out of 10. It depends on the scale. All the right. Scale. What girl? What girl? Name one. You can pick anyone you want. Sama Hayek. What planet are you on? She's Sama Hayek's hot. Eliza Dushku. Who the fuck is that? Pull her up. Pull her up. I want to know who that is. Now, do you you're, actually? You'll probably you'll probably notice. Do you something. actually look at the girl's face and her facial features and what girls she looks like, or do you just look at her ass and titties? Uh, yeah. Like, she's why don't you actually look at her face? Um, what can I? I'm, I'm not gonna do anything to her face. <laughs> oh, she's looking rough these days. <laughs> Yes, she is, guy. Oh, wow. Catch her in her prime. Catch her in her prime. I don't give a fuck about her prime. I give a Jessica fuck about Jessica Alba in her prime? Yes. Oh. Touche. Touche. I'll give you that. But look at this broad. Oh. You think this broad is, is hot? Smoke show. Yes. <laughs> Stop it. Look at that picture right there with her throwing a steak or something. What is that? Go ahead. Pull Are up. you crazy? Look at her face. Look at her mouth and look at her eyebrows. Look at those things. You you men don't look at that shit. Look no. at look at her eyebrows no, 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 to her forehead. So you trying to tell me what is hot is not gonna work. <laughs> no, I, because I'm focused on things like, like her cheeks and her lips and her body, and you're like, look at her eyebrows. <laughs> look at her eyelashes. They're not even long. Like I don't give a fuck. Look at that picture right there. Are you out of your tree, Megan? Look at her nose. She's got a witch nose. She I looks like from I'd, fucking Bewitched. Does I'd she not? That nose. I don't like your body shaming right now, to be honest. I'm not body shaming. I'm just being. She's like, I'm no I'm being honest. I'm being honest, right? I'm, no shaming. I'm not shaming. She's hot. She's so skinny, too. You like skinny broads? Like, come on, Pilate. Petite, yeah. Why do you like petite? Makes my junk look bigger. <laughs> they feel it more. 
It's such a bad perception. Bad my girl, perception. My girl's 4'11". You like the four little 11? ones too, O'Leary? Um, Mind your business. I do oh, like them. <laughs> yeah. They're talking about her. Brandon's like 4'11". It's kind of like a... <laughs> about to go upstairs. Right? Dominance thing. <laughs> you, know? you like like a little tiny chick? I don't know. I wouldn't. I couldn't go with a chick that was bigger than me. Like That's, that's not going to happen. I didn't say... <laughs> <laughs> but you, but, like, but you be with a hundred handled by my by my girl. Like, no, that's but a hundred pound chick. Wait, what are you gonna do with her? You just gonna fucking th- choke the shit out of her, throw her around the room, beat the fuck out of her, and then what? Say peace. Like, what are you yeah, gonna do? Fucking yeah. <laughs> like, Bye. Bye. Peace. Felicia. <laughs> Felicia. Where are you? So you think Megan Fox, and then who else? <clears throat> I like Jessica. Do you, like, do you like smaller men? No, I like big men. Oh. That's exactly the same reason mm. you like big men is why men like smaller women. But how degrading is that? Like Jay said, if I had a man that was 100 pounds, but what you, am I going to do? Push up, do a push up and be no, like, but push the reality up? is, is like, you like bigger men because you want to feel protected and secured. That's why you no, like big I just, men. No, I just, when I'm fucking no, 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 you, I'm, I don't want to think like, I'm like, what am wanna, I going to do with you? You like, want to be secure? Like, what, want am I, to, what am I going to do with you? Like, if I'm bigger than you and I'm fucking you, like, that's not attractive well, to me. Well, the reality is you can do more. Right? I don't know. I'm not a woman fucking up. No, but I think I don't think you're getting what I'm saying. Is like it's because it's not just you. You're not. Most women are attracted to bigger, stronger men than them. Like women don't want a guy that's smaller than them. Correct. You know, the same reason men don't want a woman that's bigger or stronger than them. You know. Okay, I'll agree with you. How could you can't? It's science. It's fact. I don't know. What do you think, O'Leary? About what? Do you want a small girl, big girl, medium girl? I have a friend that actually likes bigger girls, like two plus, you know, two hundred plus. Yeah, there's nothing see, wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with it, but no. it's also we have to call that what like that's uncommon though. That's not common. Yeah. You know, if you ask a hundred men, I'd probably be surprised if anything under than ninety um, said that they prefer their woman to be smaller than them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, you do know. I just told you. So, <laughs> are you always right? No, not always. Last year there was a time I was wrong. And the reality, though, is because I, th- I ended up submitting to being wrong, but I was actually right in the first place. So mm-hmm. technically, I was wrong because I thought I was wrong. Interesting. Smaller one. <laughs> yeah, definitely smaller one. <laughs> how's the selling world, though, Larry? Tell me how that's going. It's going fucking great. You're the top sales rep, huh? One of. One of the top sales rep. Yeah. I'm it's proud nice. of you. I see your name come across my board, and I'm like, there he is. Again. There's O'Leary yeah, selling right. the Sola. That's right. I yeah. love it. I love it. Top big dog daddy, here. Big Daddy O'Leary. Yeah, Big Daddy O'Leary. Oh, big you daddy ever get the crazy O'Leary. ones that answer the door naked or like? Oh, I, I literally, we <laughs> talked about this in one of the episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had this old chick show me her vagina, like literally put Selling her leg. Sola? I was you in her tra- house doing a consultation. And she puts her leg over the armrest of the chair she was sitting in. Like, I'm serious. Her fucking her roast beef was falling all over the floor. Ooh, what did she say to you? Nothing. She was just like listening to me. That's what she. She was wearing a, like a her skirt looked like actually like, looked like, shirt, like a doily, like fucking lace skirt. And that's I'm like. Uh, did you at least sell it? Did you at least get it? Get the deal. My thirty percent get paid for. Can you put your pussy away. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Uh, he installed himself. <laughs> did you I least, was distracted. I was, I'm sure you were distracted, but <laughs> did you at least close? What does it smell like? No, no. What did it Good. smell like? Could you smell it? <laughs> <laughs> He's the one who. That. Your boy is the one who said that. <laughs> You no, it. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't smell it. I didn't want to smell it. Uh, to Boring. Be, hey, to be quite honest, for an older lady, she had a nice looking vagina. You know like, what? Just... Older ladies need love too, baby. They need love. She might have had that surgery. The reconstructive surgery. The vagina rejuvenation. Oh, rejuvenation surgery. Rejuvenate that thing, man. But that was make not that, the weirdest. That, vagina that was the weirdest out. thing that ever happened to you while you were selling. Well, besides, uh. It was a. It was a when her husband walked out and had this, 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 this house in Warwick. This dude answered the door. And it was, he was probably a little bit bigger than like my size. He was in a dress. Uh, that was a weird situation because that was a hoarding situation. Him in a dress. It was just like the whole fucking scene was just all weird. His his dad was in the Let's back. Go. 
selling something. I don't we know. We got one for you. I got water. Water and tequila. That goes. <laughs> Cheers. Look at that. Cheers. <laughs> Salud. That was definitely one of the weirder ones. I mean, hey, wear whatever you want. I don't know. Just trying to give a presentation here. <laughs> I didn't I'm close that one either. <laughs> I get easily distracted. Yeah. You're right, guy. Such a bitch, dude. No. What happened? Did I don't know? know. I just, like, over the past year, bro, I've been taking shots like a pussy. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I'm gagging. I'm like a little teenage girl. I'm like, well, I gotta hold my nose. So how much do you drink in a day? Here's a question. Yeah. Ooh. One of these. You, yourself? That's rough tequila, though. That's not like... Um, it's not terrible. It's decent. Ooh. You can have a whole bottle of that? No, I'm kidding. Um, oh, my God. We've polished up off, off. Yeah, we'll bottle. do. We'll finish this today. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, we're alcoholics, man. It's I'm um, trying to cut back. What's cut back to you? Still trying. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like you have like 10 and then you go to five or like? No, it's like... more like stopping the days. Like, I'm not trying to cut back the amount when I drink. Okay. Because like when I'm, I'm not doing this just to get tipsy, like I'm like, fucking, I'm going, I'm going in. Yeah, so like if on. you go to work out, you know, you're not going to go to the gym and just stretch and leave. <laughs> True. You're going to get a pump in there. Yeah. You know, like I'm trying to get my pump in. <laughs> um, but I just got to pump less days a week, you know, because right now we're at like three, sometimes four days a week. That's not terrible. That's pretty bad. That's a lot. That's There's a only lot seven days in the week. <laughs> <laughs> it's we're at four. <laughs> it's only half. It's not terrible. Okay. Right? I'd like to limit it to one day a week. One day a week is good. Yeah. I don't drink, I don't drink as frequent. Yeah, you do. I mean, I can. Yeah, you do. I can. Uh, yeah, you do. I can hold my own. <laughs> you can no, hold I your own. I don't. During the week, I don't really. But drink. you don't feel like shit afterwards. Like after the high goes, like you oh, yeah. don't feel um, like. It's yeah. called a hangover. Like ass. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, I was talking to somebody today uh, about drinking. I'm like, I don't even know why. Like, I, I don't even actually like it. Just something uh, to do. To some degree, it's just like. It's about to be me, bitch. <laughs> it's just. Uh, why do you do it? Yeah, I don't know. I you feel want like to stop? I feel like this is an intervention right now. <laughs> <laughs> you want to stop? Yeah, it, it like totally fucks up the next day. Like you feel like shit. I like smoking. You know, yeah. smoke a little weed here. Relax. Everyone, everyone. Why are you drinking right now, Jay? I don't know because I'm a fucking retard. <laughs> That's a bad word, Jason. I'm sorry. Fucking yeah. Fucking. I'm a freaking retard. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you should have said. Bro. She said that one up perfect. <laughs> bad words. It is. Bad words. I have, like, addictive personality. That's all I like, cop out, so I hate even saying shit like that. Yeah. Nobody I, has You know what it is? I'm a fucking pig. That's what it is. I'm just a pig. And that's What kind of pig? Are you like, a soft pig, hard pig, lovable pig? Jeez. Uh, I'm, okay. uh, no, just I do everything in excess. Like, I, whether it's drinking, even if I don't like it, I'll sit here and I'll polish that bottle off with Josh. Uh, smoking or whatever. Eating, fucking, all of it. There's nothing the wrong above. with that? There's nothing wrong with that? Well, there is, because, like... Is there? Yeah, you need you need to live in moderation. Really? I think that's that's my it's it's hard for me. Do you though? I'm just a fucking pig. Do you need moderation or do you need balance? Wow. I think that there that's you know, balance would would you'd have to have moderation for balance. Would you? What if you just worked <laughs> out like way more and drank a lot? You don't think that would just make that moderation? Have Bacardi and diet. I don't think it works that way. <laughs> for like, the damage is already done. I don't know. Bro. Drinking. Like working I out was watching counterbalance. It I just, was watching Travis Kelsey, who just won the Super Bowl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like talk about how much he's binge drinking lately, and it's like he's a world class professional athlete. So he probably just counteracts all that shit by working out like a freak. It's kind of like when you drink a whole lot. If you start smoking weed the same night. Like, yeah, you'll feel relaxed, but that doesn't counteract the alcohol in your bloodstream. No, but the actual, so bad, that's probably the wrong counteraction because right. working out and sweating will actually get it out of you. Hydrating and pissing, yes, you know what I mean? metabolism does. That's why I was going to say earlier, you work out a lot, and like you said, you, it takes like five days to recover. <laughs> Normally, it's somebody that works out a lot, like, they metabolize the alcohol a lot faster than, let's say, somebody like myself that doesn't work out. Yeah, a lot. you probably <laughs> stored in your fat cells for a month. Oh, that's yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Look, like, who am I? So, like, I'm still carrying booze from the 2007. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but that's actually what happens. I did a study on alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Long time ago. Cheers. Cheers. Salud.
Mom, so what do you us. do for your workout routines then? I don't. I don't fucking work out. Do I look like I work out? You <laughs> some, we're some kind of asshole. No. <laughs> no, I'm saying what would okay, what would you do? When I used to. Uh, when you used to. Okay. Yeah. No, I used to be a, a runner. I'd wake up at five o'clock in the morning, right? <laughs> So, what would you do though? Would you do weights? Would you do would cardio? Both. <laughs> yeah, I'd do both. He's like, I remember. Yeah, I would hop in my brand new 2001 Kia. <laughs> <laughs> Every other day was a, a running day. A running day. All yeah. right. Did you do like calisthenics, plyometrics? Yeah, all of that. All of that. Yep. You did. You did all of it. All that. Took really? Zumba, you took Zumba. It just, you dance. So you dance. Rode my Peloton. <laughs> what? Well, what kind of yeah. dancing do you do? Mm-hmm. Lap. <laughs> Not you that know. kind of dance. No, what kind yeah. of dance? With the shoes. Tap dancing. That's what you I said. Do, yeah. You do tap dancing, huh? Yeah. I can picture you doing that. You I have... could do with a fucking tux and the cane and stick. <laughs> Hello, Hello, my baby. One. Hello, my, <laughs> Hello, my rock doctor. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, the beginning of Two and a Half Men. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the intro to that, bro. <laughs> Oh shit! That's how we should enter the lab <laughs> event, bro. Just like that, tap dance our way in. We should. Nah. Don't you find it funny that we all work together now? I was pretty shocked to see you in the office. I'm like, where the fuck did you come from? Like, or, you, know, yeah. you don't find it funny that we're all working together now? Well, that part doesn't mean anything to me because I don't know you before work. I, Pilati, we've known one another. I'm telling you. How? Poker. You've never played. I've never played poker with you in my life. Mm, you no. retired before I started playing, I think. I've been playing for about seven years. I don't know. Maybe I've seen you. Maybe I just, you know, a pro. Familiar face. Maybe you've seen me at Club Electric. <laughs> it's electricity, <laughs> by the way. It's you, remember, it's electric. you remember the scene? <laughs> She's like, I've you, seen you. That wrist looks familiar. You, you, She's like, you, smack me. That was you. Listen, you guys. You guys. <laughs> You guys gotta go. I would love to see you. Send me a message that you two have. Go- you two are going. Okay, we're never mind. going together. Never going. Why like, can't you guys? Why can't two males go together that are straight? Okay, I don't care if two males go together that are straight. Him and I are not going together while we're straight. I'm never going <laughs> ever. Why? Straight or why? I, mean not I would straight. take one of my. I would take my best friend with me. Why not? <clears throat> well, it's, you already said your. It's but it's just entertainment. It's not like you don't have to participate in the acts there. You think I want? Like I can watch porn. I don't want to okay. go watch average people do nasty shit to each other in person. <laughs> you want to see attractive vaginas and penises. Some of some of them are. I mean, I I, I don't know. I, it depends what you like. You're like, look at that hairy thing between that lady's tits. <laughs> oh, that's her pussy. <laughs> they have different theme nights too. For like uh, Thanksgiving, they had the gobble swallow. They have they have all different. Did types you ever of... win a contest? What's I the go- what is the gobble swallow? Explain this. It's just I. <laughs> I didn't go. I didn't go that night. What so is it though? I, I, it's just exactly what it sounds like. The gobble swallow. Did you swallow a turkey? <laughs> Blowing a turkey. Something. Yeah, something like that. Blowing a turkey. Something like that. You're weird. I'm not weird. Look at look <laughs> at fucking fuck it. I'm not weird. Look at look <laughs> it up. Weird. They have every single Friday and Saturday night. It's a different theme night. It, you know how it's like. Do oh. not look that up from my IP address. <laughs> <laughs> why can't you look it up from your IP address? Because I don't want the feds coming asking why I'm, I'm looking up it's gobble swallow. It's public. It's not a gobble. Look, look up. Us. Look up club electricity, please. Please Neither. look up Club Electricity. I'm telling you, it, it will show you next Friday night. It will show you a theme. It could be like wear white. It could be massage night. It could be. It's Babe, it's what did you like? I love you. I don't <laughs> I know who this crazy bitch is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Look at, look. You think I'm kidding? Look. Look at Club Electricity. I never Electricity. thought you were kidding. Wait, I'm mad enough. I'm, I'm, I told you it's in Providence. <laughs> He's I like, oh, it's around the corner from my house, bro. <laughs> I told you it's. Look, they look red, white, and blow. Okay. You think I'm kidding? First thing that shows up, <laughs> Independence Day parties. You can go there. Look, twenty dollars for ladies, eighty dollars for co- oh, one hundred and ten for single men. See if we can do a live event there. <laughs> is that where Atlantic Furniture is? Like that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> but look, I, I told you that. it was different. Strap thing. on Saturdays, <laughs> bro. You think I'm playing? Look. <laughs> <laughs> it's ghetto, so they have a security oh, guard at shit. the bottom, and then they have a security guard at, um, when you first go in. Yeah. How many times have you been there? I, <laughs> it's in it's, an abandoned factory, bro. I'm good. It, it, it's ghetto. It's a little ghetto, but those rooms. A little ghetto. <laughs> no, the rooms are nice. Um, so you've been there and you, <laughs> spot you participated. Dude, what? <laughs> <laughs> Dev Studios in the my, my boy does podcast. Yo, my boy does podcast. You guys know each other. I the told rooms you. are nice. 
When I she told walked in, you. she goes, oh, funny seeing you here. I, I told <laughs> like, you. She did, too. Yo, I'm not the only one. You two are you're the abnormal the ones that tell. haven't That's been there. You you're, you're, you're the abnormal ones that haven't been there. The Even he knows. So no, you do know him from outside. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't. What does his penis look like? Look at it. Look, that's where I. That's where the club is. That's where I bought my mattress. That's in Oneyville, dude. That's in Oneyville. Bro, your mattress from the flea market, you pee on? Yeah, but Man. so they have like rooms in there that they do, you know, stuff. Yeah, so, hard oh, pass. oh, no, 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 no. But it's all right, fuck it, play it. But you think I was fucking kidding, right? Look at what these do. What the fuck is going on here? Yeah, they showing shit. I don't, I don't think that's a close up. That was, yeah, a you can't right record there. in there, right? No, it's you're not, su- you're not supposed to record it, but I mean, thank, thank I'm God. sure you could get away with it. But no. But like, see what I'm saying about theme nights, though? Like, all different kind of themes that they have. Mm. I wasn't just messing with you. Like, I went to church this morning. <laughs> what, what kind of Jesus did you pray to? The, the naked chick that was up on your cross. What are we <laughs> talking about? <laughs> you praying to Jesus? See, I'm not no. the abnormal ones. You're making me feel like I'm abnormal that I haven't. You haven't been to no, different, we're just certain, all busting. different yeah. types of clubs. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Dude, no, I don't. Yeah. if you're if you're some kinky sex freak, that's your. I'm business. not a kinky yeah. sex freak. I'm I just saying. Do with that. Like, listen, like, there's gonna be weirdos all the time. Slut, that's just up to you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> listen, I, I respect I all professions, bro. All professions. Yeah. What, what's the best profession? Tell me. Oof, that's a general question. What is the best profession in the world? Who? Who? Fucking. I don't know. 300. <laughs> it's. I feel like it's. How do you even answer that? You know? I would like to run the cat house in Vegas. That would be my profession. Yeah, but see, I think you say that at face value, but there's probably so much more bullshit going into I'm, it. Like the in logistics and the financials, like running Absolutely. a business. Absolutely. So you're just saying run, running a business. Yeah. Running a brothel. Running you think the best profession? It's not a bad one, is it? I'd say being a glory hole beta tester is probably dope. <laughs> no. Like the person sticking your dick in the I, hole? Or are you talking obviously. About? <laughs> obviously. The other side. That's <laughs> why you're... <laughs> the other side. <laughs> I'm like, Billy, no. Billy, Ew. Do you want to suck or... I wouldn't let anybody Pilate, touch my Pilate, do you want to suck or a fuck? Which oh, one do you want? Uh, have the glory well, hole. Suck or it, fuck? I think it's important to understand both sides of the business. <laughs> So you'd uh, want to be a glory great. hole tester. That would be your saying, profession. That seems like an easy gig. You just wake up and just get your peen waxed all day. Like, but some guys can't do that. I can't some do that. some guys that. can't do that. That's why I feel guy. I feel bad for guys in porn. Like they have to perform in front of people and keep their dick hard for you know. Oh, but there's just a yeah, but they take for pills that. and yeah, but cock rings and all. Kinds but you're of telling shit. me that's not like embarrassing sometimes. Well, you know what I'm saying? Not if you got showing their dick wing. to the whole world. Do you think they're embarrassed? <laughs> I'm saying performing. No, they're just no, that's banging hot doing. chicks and yeah. getting paid for it. I don't know. I feel bad for them. You couldn't be a porn star? I couldn't be a porn star. Why I not? couldn't. Because it's just, I don't know. I wouldn't want to get fucked all day. Like, I'm good. Five to ten minutes, I'm good. Like, that's all I want. I don't want to be fucked for yeah. hours. Like, hmm. it hurts after a while. What do you mean it hurts? Your, your vagina fucking hurts. I mean, but you're looking at me. I don't have a vagina. <laughs> you're like, your <laughs> vagina hurts, doesn't it? Like, I don't have a vagina. I'm like, it hurts after a while of being fucked. No. I, I don't know. <laughs> what are you telling me? I don't know. Like, you, never had a, you never had a girl say, oh, all right, it's getting sore. Like, uh, Of course. I... <laughs> I know from Jay a guy's perspective, yeah, like definitely happens all the time. <laughs> from a guy's perspective, after you fucking bust, it's like don't touch me, like you know, just it's like don't touch, just give me a sandwich. Like just get away from. <laughs> That's my thing with Sasha. And it's like, yo, give me a sandwich. Years, the other night, the other night, I came home plastered, whatever. Then I throw the old mediocre wiener ring, and I'm like, oh, I think I saw a hot dog on the stove. Can you grab me one, bro? Two minutes later, she's waking me up. Like you still want this hot dog? I'm like yeah. <laughs> like in bed, like Homer Simpson in bed. I... <laughs> oh my God! Seriously, I don't know. yeah. What else do you do for fun, Larry? I do everything. What's I'm everything? into everything. Do I want to know what's everything? Not club electricity, everything. 
Um, <laughs> Maybe you should try new profession here. Yeah. I can't. I, I don't know. What do you I mean you can't? I get stage fright. My dick would like scurry into my. You asshole. don't have to fuck when you go there. You can just. Why look. the fuck would I go there and not fuck? So you can just look and see. It's a. It's educational. It's educational. Not, it's, 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 it's not. Do I have to bring a notepad? Do I have to bring a notepad? It's definitely, bring, it definitely bring those glasses <laughs> when you walk in there. It's yeah. educational, Larry, to see what other people do, right? Like, look at the furries. Uh, what? I'm not interested in all like, that. Right? Furries have their own world, right? Where they go and they, you know, do their thing. You know, yeah. what's, wrong, what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. They can do that. No, nothing's wrong with fucking animals. Uh, <laughs> Just people dressed up like animals. Have you heard the one where they're pissing and shitting in the kitty little box the, at the schools? What do you like look this What do you do in your free time when <laughs> no, you know I all swear. this? Check up her browser history I swear to God, they're pissing and shitting in the little box. This happens in Pawtucket in Providence. I swear to God. She knows there, exactly where a, it's happening. There's a, <laughs> there is a group of girls that are pissing and shitting in, in kitty little boxes they're in the middle blonde, schools. blue eye. No, I swear to God. I think things uh, like that are disrespectful uh, to the LGBTQ community. It, it is not disrespectful. This is what uh, is going on, on in the world. Here's why I think that's disrespectful. Because that kind of shit gets lumped in to like the LGBTQ community. And that causes people that are rational to think like this shit is so out of line now. Because most like pe people that are like LGBT, like gay people are just normal. Yeah. But then you got shit like that that's fucking crazy. That's no, that wacky. You know you, what I mean? That's you not deserve normal. to be in Butler at that point. If that's you, what I'm saying. If your bro. daughter or son came home and said, but I pissed in a shit in a little lump, box today, what are you that saying? In with that group, that's why I'm saying that's disrespectful to it. You know what I mean? I, just, I know that you're not. I'm I just saying just like saying. it is though. You gotta throw them in some group, and I feel like all those letters just kind of cover all that weird shit. But what they, would you do? I think they actually include like it's like uh, L G B whatever the act. there's mad letters now. No, there's but a, then there's a plus sign yeah, for everybody else. Plus, 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 for everybody plus, plus, else. Plus, yeah, plus. maybe the plus has got to go though because you can't look at <laughs> like listen. I look at the you know like gay people, lesbians, you know, gay dudes, whatever the word is for them. We can't use the old one, but it's like. <laughs> what do you mean the word gay dudes? You know what I mean? It, yeah, it's I know fucking what you like, mean. To me, that's just like normal and it is what it is. But <laughs> shitting in a kitty litter box is not normal. Like, don't lump that shit in. It's hard for me to I'm support a movement when you include shit like pissing in a litter box in a school. These are 12 year old girls. I'm not talking about lesbians. Well, I'm talking about 12 year old girls. Then. They need better parents. I agree with you. I think the community in but is, should is step all. What would you do? It's all inclusive. They they include them. It, what would I do if my kid was pissing in a litter box yeah. at school? I'd beat his ass. That's exactly I would what I'm saying. Whoop his ass. But then DCYF shows up at your door on that one. Whoop their ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if you can convince what? me that you're taking my kid no. because you think he should be shitting in a litter box, <laughs> you should probably. We're going after you now, and you got to lose your fucking ranking but as DCYF. This is the real world, Pilates. This is all the world's problems right here: pissing and shitting in a fucking litter box. Okay. The real How world. do you wipe your ass? This is my but question. You know what, though? What do you do? Again, do you lick the butthole at listen, that point after you shit? I have a because bidet. I have a bidet. You, you, I have a bidet. What do these girls do? I want to know. Get a bidet. In the school. Oh, in the school? They're going to put a bidet the in the school? The teacher probably spits on. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing? Just, they stand over the sprinkler. This frightens me for my son's generation. It, it frightens me but you that, know what, what they're Here's, doing. Let me give you hope. How old's your kid? Nine and seven. All right, so you're right there. You should be ahead of this by now. Just giving you a heads up. It's so important as a parent to step in and remind them, like, yeah, like, you're going to learn shit at school. Yeah. Your teacher's going to teach you some shit. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. I had a conversation with my son today, right? Because I know, you know, teachers are always fucking, like, the school system is, like, super left-leaning. It is mm -hmm. what it is. I explained to my son. My son told me, hey, your friend's here for the podcast. He me I said, which one? The Asian one? <laughs> and my other son goes, Dad, you can't say that. That's racist. I go, no, it's not, bro. He's Asian. Like, he's Asian. And he's like, yeah, but, like. You just can't call somebody Asian. I go, you can if he's Asian. Like, <laughs> Brandon, are you Asian? Yes. Like, uh, if you ask me, like, are you Colombian? But are is, you American? Is that racist, though, in, no. this, new, that, in this, this new world? This, this new world is not anything to me. But what I did, like, here's why I say it's important as a parent where you can intervene. Because now I just had a five-minute conversation with him. Like, hey, man, you're going to learn shit in school because they have to teach weird shit to everybody sometimes. The bottom line is this. I go, Carter, do you have brown hair? Yeah. If I describe you saying you have brown hair, does that hurt your feelings? No. If I say, Carter, you're Portuguese, does that hurt your feelings? No. So if somebody says, hey, you're Portuguese, that doesn't make them racist, bro. They're just describing you. I agree a thousand right. percent, but this but world does not agree with it you, Pilate. It doesn't matter, bro. But, you know but what it else? does bro. matter. No, here's why it doesn't. Then listen, <laughs> it if, does. you're, if your kids are willing to accept the, the, um, 
the influence of strangers over you as a parent, then I, the, you ain't the, doing the reality your job. is, yeah, you're not doing the right I, thing. I agree a thousand you know? percent. Like, I feel like, bro, if you're a good parent, your kids should accept your influence more than everybody else. I 100% agree with you. Yeah. But have you looked into this lovely little fucked up world that we live in? Yeah, I don't care bro, about the fucked up. I care about my world. I, I care know, about my, my world. My world I, is my I, kids. I agree. My world is my children, too. Yeah, but so they're going to school. I can't change the way other people are going to parent their kids. I agree you with know? you. But you know what? This world's getting a little bit crazy. Yeah, but now the next time my, you know, his teacher says something like that to him, he's just gonna be like, "Oh, this bitch is cuckoo." <laughs> and that's what I want. I want him. I want people to accept that some people are just like their opinions are kind of wild. It doesn't have to be my opinion. You know, like people are gonna believe what they believe. We don't have to adopt every uh, everybody else's belief system. I agree with you. you know? So that's it. You know, if you think me. Saying somebody is Asian is mm. racist, then that's your problem. That's not my problem. I agree with you. you know? I'm me and you are on the same page here. Oh, the if other I would, people. Of, if I, why would I employ an Asian person if I was racist <laughs> against Asian people? He's my best empl employee of the month, three months in a row now. Wow! Congratulations, man. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for affirmative action. <laughs> no, that's not. Did, wait, didn't I just get overturned? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I've been reading a little bit about that. About what? Affirmative action, pull that up. Affirmative action just got recently overturned by the Supreme Court. I could really? be watching it, but I'm pretty sure that happened. Let me say. Yeah, the ruling was that it was unconstitutional because somebody's um, opportunity should be based on merit and they shouldn't <laughs> have disadvantages or advantages based on uh, race. Uh, right? June 29th, right? June, Supreme Court. Oh. On June 29, 2023, the Supreme Court of the United States issued its decision addressing two cases that challenge affirmative action in higher education. Students for Fair Admissions, Inc. versus Presidents and Fellows of Harvard College Students for Fair Admissions, Inc. Yeah. What's the bottom line, though? Give me the summary. What states oh, have done right? The affirmative yeah. action, huh? Yeah, it was recently overturned, which to me, I mean, it's, it's weird because these, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. It's not a minority. Whatever. No, like these, these policies are put into place. I believe these policies are put into place from a place of goodness, you know, like a like a place of justice, yeah, you know, because when they're put into place, minorities had no shot getting into colleges or whatever the case is. But eventually, you know, like those policies become to the point where now they're affording people an opportunity when they don't really deserve it instead of just stopping them from being held back because of their what do you call it? Ethnicity or whatever. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Listen, I don't care what you do. You're right. It's your family. You know what I'm saying? Protect yourself. And I agree. It's the parents. Oof. The fuck? We finished talking about that girl like three minutes ago. No. Parents. Parents. I think yeah, affirmative action started. It was like, I think it was passed in 1978. And it started. Bro, if he's accurate, I'm giving him a rim job. <laughs> oh, Larry don't like no, rim jobs. We've wrong. already established this. He doesn't like rim jobs. I, I never, he doesn't even wrong. bleach his asshole. I believe it was 1978. But anyway, um, <laughs> I think it started. I think it's 79. Initially, it was like. To, like it was the concept I can't of see. writing. Am I close? Yeah, you're good. <laughs> writing like America's wrongs. But I think it actually passed because they deemed that education was more advantageous if it was diverse, which I think is bullshit. But. That's the reason why it actually passed. Hmm. I mean, it's so long ago, bro. It's you know almost a hundred years at this point. Seventy-eight. No, sixties is when it was passed. What is? What's the date? Sixties. Nineteen sixty-five, September twenty-fifth. Oh no, for college. Scroll down. Scroll uh, down. I'm sorry. Scroll down right there. We're, I thought we were talking September about September twenty. Oh, that's my girl's birthday. No, but anyways, I mean, at, at that point, bro, it's probably passed because like. There was still so much racism there where colleges, you know, if they were white, controlled by white people, could literally just be like, no, we're not admitting blacks. So, again, I think the policy comes from a place of justice, you know, where, hey, you cannot exclude people just because they're black or a minority, where it gets to a point, And how do you do that? It's a tough spot because if you're not going to put a quota on it, you have to rely on the morality of the people in charge, which is not really something tangible. You know what I mean? Because if you're going based yeah, on discretion, yeah. If you're going based on discretion, you can always say, well, hey, we interviewed 100 people. It's just a coincidence. All of them were white that were the best candidates. You know what I mean? So the only way to really truly 
like fight it, I guess, is to put a measurable quota on and say you have to hire X amount or you have to admit X amount of minority students. But you know, do you agree with that, or do you not? Agree it, I think it's. Listen, man, I feel like if you asked me this a year ago or two years ago, I disagree yeah. with it wholeheartedly. Yeah. But now, you know, I think I'm probably leaning towards more like I don't know if I agree that's the best way, but can you give me a better way? Like, how do you prevent? Like, if I'm if I'm the head of the dean of admissions or something, sure. and I control who gets in, and I'm racist, how do you how do you hold me accountable any other way? You know, you can't. if it's discretionary. You can't. You would have to literally have maybe like a panel audit every decision I've made by like and have it peer reviewed to say like, hey, listen, man. Yeah, that's a thousand a thousand different people looked at all the applicants and statistically these are the applicants you should have chosen based on merit. I mean, you could do that. It seems unrealistic as far as like logistically how you would get all the people to be agreed or how you'd get all the people to agree that's the best way and to actually do it, but. I think I, I heard a statistics. The quota just seems like a Band-Aid, though. But it, it's not a real solution. Because then it's just like, all right, cool. We're just going to fucking take the 10 black people first and then backfill with whatever else we got. I think I, I actually heard a statistic for Harvard that uh, specifically black people had a 40%, 40 chance of getting into Harvard. Whereas like if you were white or Asian... It was only like 12 and 15 percent. And that was based on how based many black on applicants they had and yeah. how many they had to admit. Which, um, I, I don't know. Obviously, I think that's all bullshit. I, I think the answer is just affording the same exact opportunity. Now, yeah. some people say, you know, well, well the problem you know, they're is starting the, off no, different. No, I don't think that's the issue. I think the problem is, is that the opportunity is not the issue. It's the, the people making the decisions of who gets in is the issue. Yeah, but there's no way of... That's what I'm saying is like, well, there's got to be a way, you know, there's maybe not a perfect way. And I think, you know, it seems like the mass agreed that affirmative action was the per the best way, maybe not perfect, yeah. but the best way up until now, you know, because even now after it's been overturned, there's like, uh, what do you call them? The, not deans of admission, but those, uh, yeah, whoever, whatever that position is called that accepts or denies, they're looking at income levels, like other proxies that, you know, They'd be like, okay, this guy's a minority. Let's get him in, even though it doesn't. There is no right. check the box on the the application. They're using other means of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is, again, that's still illegal. But. Can I ask why you have an in sync, uh, boy band in behind you? It's my favorite musical artist. Is it really? Band. Yeah. What's your favorite song? Oof, I don't know if I have a favorite. This I love all of them. So many. <laughs> do you like in sync? I do like in sync. What's I your do, favorite song? I grew up in. Mm. I don't know. Tearing um, up my heart is okay. that? Okay, that's a that's a classic. I'm glad you didn't say bye bye bye. I would <laughs> judge you if you said that. Why would you I'll judge do. me? Thirty seven. Okay. Tearing up my heart's a banger. How old are you? Forty four. Mm. What are you, Pilates? Twenty one. You say you're thirty seven. Twenty one. Twenty seven. Forty seven. What did you say? I didn't hear you. Thirty seven. I heard a seven. That's all I heard. Thirty seven. I'm getting old. Mm -hmm. My old age, right? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I can sum it up to a favorite song. Come on, you have the boy band behind you. Yeah. Tearing up my heart is a good one. What's your favorite album from NSYNC? Probably No Strings Attached. So in your generation... How old are you, Pilates? Was, uh, maybe Gone. How old is Pilates? Gone might be my favorite oh. song. 30-something? How old 34? are you? 34. 34? Yo, you young, huh? I'm three years younger than you. You're Keep fucking playing. young. <laughs> All right, hey. relax. What's <laughs> <laughs> relax. <laughs> <laughs> Fredo Robin ass creepy bitch. Fucking oh, young. He's so young. <laughs> he young is. Tender. He's fucking. I don't like him young anyway. Some of that juvenile. I like sperm. him older. I don't like him young. Yeah. I had a feeling you needed somebody older. I don't need young. No. Nope. No youngins. So was Insync actually like? Was it? No, I don't know what the word is. Not cool, but was they were it huge, popular. Bro. They were huge. No, I know that they were huge, but I'm saying like so when they came out, my generation, it was like kind of corny, but it yeah. sounds like it was more popular and more like for the younger generation. The 90s, it was kind of like yeah. it was corny in my generation too. Oh, it was. Uh -huh. It was cor well. It depends on your circle, you know, like the people you were around. You know, if you were around like fucking like oh macho guy, we're gonna listen to rap and hip hop and shit. Like <laughs> then that shit was corny. Mm. You know, those are like. Those people that thought it was corny are the people that were just afraid to admit they liked it. Mm -hmm. You know? 
My like, favorite is Brian Adams. I just didn't give a shit about it. Might have been just people. corny. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Boy bands are a little corny. That's why M was making. Do you fun like of Brian them. Adams? But That's I mean, my favorite. You were over here singing "New Kids on the Block" with us, bro. You don't so like that? Is it really corny? Well, at I my like older age, on the block. it's different. When I was I younger, I like "New Kids on the Block." Listen, when I'm I was with, younger, I'm with Larry, you yeah. see what I'm saying though. When I was younger, your older "New age, Kids on the Block" was I loved corny. That. I went too. to that concert. But you know what? The difference between you and your younger self now is you just care less about what the other people think around you. That's all it is. Well, no, because yes, now bro. I actually appreciate music for a certain talent as opposed to, you know, what every, oh, what's cool, what's not cool. Exactly. Like, yeah. What everybody else, that's what cool is, though, what everybody Wop. else thinks. But when you don't know, Wop. like when you don't, so like, put it this way. <laughs> You're uh, agreeing with me. Like, we're saying the same thing right now. Like, when New Kids was out, like, obviously they were <laughs> crazy popular or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I thought it was corny. But they're actually talented. I like them. They're actually talented. I, I went to that concert. Like, and that I respect, I know. you know. You don't you, like you don't like WAP. You, res, you respected it then. WAP, <laughs> WAP, like WAP. W A P WAP. <laughs> Wine and pizza. And I'm gonna WAP you on the head. WAP. <laughs> I have a different appreciation for music now, just because uh, it's different, right? Well, it's a yeah, lot of different. Because I'm old. You know, I'm, I'm not interested in what's cool. I'm interested in like you know like real real talent. I listen to fucking. Just listen to what you like then. Yeah, that's all. Female <laughs> shit. I li- like where I never. I was just a little ahead of the game. I was listening to what I liked when I was young. I, like I blast it. country out of my car. I blast fucking <laughs> classical. I don't give a fuck. Classical. I really fucked with classical. Oh, it's so fucking amazing. I like amazing. country, though. Country's good. Yeah. I love me some country. country. What's blasting in your car right now? What do you What do you play? Brian Adams, baby. Brian Adams. I love Brian Adams. Why? I got my I know, first I real like six dream. There you go, baby. I'm going out to five <laughs> and now. I like that song. See? I think I only know two Brian Adams songs. That one is Does He Sing? You know it's true. Yeah. And I know that one. Everything I do, I do it for you. Right? Mm-hmm. I What's like your favorite song? What's your favorite Brian Adams song? It's a bad Heaven. Album. Heaven is my favorite song. Mm. By Brian Adams? By Brian Adams. What's your fa- oh, you already told me an NSYNC song. Mm-hmm. Do, you, uh, do you sing? I do not sing. I do not. But I would do karaoke if we were going out and having a good time. I, I am one of those uh, participating people. We'll do that after the big podcast. balls. Okay. Big balls. He's Why not big balls. <laughs> that does not shock me. Based on how this conversation has been going, she came in with the right in with the vaginas and penises, and we haven't stopped talking about penises Why, and vaginas. I, and now we, balls. We, we haven't done balls yet. That hasn't been a subject. I'm like, what is your oh, favorite later. food? She's like, dick. No. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> for the record, I did not. I like grilled chicken and green beans. That's I like my favorite. Grilled pussies. <laughs> <laughs> how do you grill a pussy? She's like, I like breasts and thighs. How do you how do you grill a pussy? First you of all, you fucking throw it on. You fu- oh, you throw, throw it on the, the grill. Pussy on the grill. <laughs> no, this, this is how you grill a grill a pussy. Where were you last night? Where were you? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> I want the truth. You don't That's how you grill a pussy. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> like. <laughs> You guys are sick. Oh, you guys man. are sick. <laughs> you guys are sick. Oh, you're the one that asked the question. No, how do you I, grill a pussy? Well, you're the one who said, how do you grill a pussy? Like, how, what, what does that even you mean? You interrogate it. You fucking hit it with the phone book. You hit it with the phone Do people even have phone books nowadays? Nah, not anymore. I don't even. Do you even get the paper? You get the newspaper? Nah, no? Nah. You don't get I'm that anymore? Paper. You don't need the paper? Oh, Larry. Are you? No, I don't need the paper. Nah. I have my phone. News is right out here. Right, I, got my I phone. don't even fucking pay attention to the news anymore. Yeah? Well, Fuck the news. It's, all you be- stu- it's all stupid. You better oh. pay attention to the news. Well, shit that's okay, going on in our lovely company. Well. You better fucking pay attention, bro. Hey, you better pay hey, attention. Hey, 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 I'm just saying. Hey, hey, <laughs> pay yeah, attention yeah, to without. political <laughs> things. Without, without. <laughs> just saying. And a breeze. No. I'm like, I'm like fucking. I'm, I'm news numb. It's just all bullshit. To me, the news is all just noise. Agreed. You know what I mean? It's all noise. It's all noise. At the end of the day, what matters? Me getting up, making as much money as I can, and taking care of my family and our health. That's all that matters. And no matter what's going on in the world or who's the president or what the policies are, that shit for me is never going to change. I'm still going to have to wake up, and mm-hmm. I'm still going to have to take care of my family, and I'm the one that's responsible for getting us where I want us to be. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? What, a, what the fuck does it matter what's going on in France? <laughs> Megan's you know? like in France. There's French dicks. Bro, in France, uh, France is being overthrown right now by fucking the open a, borders, a, bro. I want to know Have what you a read into France that at all? D- 
Open their borders in France, bro. They're just fucking taken over by some like African ISIS. I don't know what's going on. What's over a there. French dick? Yeah, what's a France dick? Brandon, you, know, Fran- you know what I'm talking <laughs> about? <though? laughs> I'm confused. What's going on in France right now? Just, just <laughs> yeah, Google, like France being overthrown. What's <laughs> it's crazy? I think that you it's should not. Google France dick because I want to know what that is. Who's That's France? a little dick with like a beret on it. Yep. <laughs> Eats bonbons. No, I want your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> Please drive me out the way we. <laughs> France. Oh, I thought you were going to put that in. French dick. I did. French I thought new gonna... today. I thought you were there is no hope. Loose. France riots. Good. People are getting sick of the governments. So that's what it is. I no, it. no. That's not what's going on, bro. I love it. I'm pretty sure they opened, They did open borders or some shit. They really loosened their border patrol. And now... I don't even get it. Just like a fucking terrorist group came and took over. Fuck the French. I don't know why. Literally fuck the French? Are you talking about literally or figuratively? Figuratively. (laughs) I said figuratively. That's That's why we're bored. I did. We can't talk without you. You you guys hear what you want to hear. That's not what I said. I didn't say fingerly. You came in all vagina hot. I didn't Fuck come in vagina. Care. What's up, Megan? Vagina. I did. <laughs> my vagina's up. Stick some things in my vagina corkscrew hole. I did. The <laughs> fuck are you talking about? <laughs> oh, is that wifey? Nice pussy, wifey. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yes. but I'm, literally, I'm like, babe, take the kids and leave. This chick is out of her mind. <laughs> I told you I was a special breed. Special breed. Like, would you yeah. like something to drink? You're in the club electricity. I'm back, <laughs> and this is the first thing I hear. Welcome back, Daddy. Daddy Brandon. Yo, he's our only. He's our Where's only. Da- fan. Oh, he's there. He's our only fan right now. Oh, he's- bro, did I tell you that? Uh, shout out to my boys over fucking Mike and in Top Line right now. Yeah, my boys over in Pakistan. Pakistan. Asalaamu Alaikum, my brothers, dude. They called me the other day and they're just like, hey, man, yeah, about this job, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, man, but, you know, we're good. And he's like, gotta say, dude, I love the podcast. We all watch it. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, every time you put it on Facebook, we watch it live. Hater watches it too with us. I'm like, my dudes, bro. We're popular in Pakistan. You're going to love this episode, boys. Alhamdulillah. (laughs) What is Brandon saying? I'm back and this is the first thing I hear. I don't know what he's talking about. Probably you and your vagina. <laughs> Brandon's talking about Megan's vagina. We're not talking about vaginas here. I don't know. Enough we're always talking. When you're you, here, we're always we're not talking. Talk- we're always that wasn't the only conversation vaginas. I had today was vagina. One woman, one mission, the vagina. Clean your, clean your spillage. Look at you over there. <laughs> <laughs> like me. What are we doing here? We'll just we'll wipe up the little dudsy duds duds. I'm definitely not All talking right. about that. Brandon says, Brandon's like, vagina, ew. Stop Brandon's it. Like, Let's talk ew. about dicks. Stop Let's it. talk about Big balls, baby. Ass. Brandon, don't let them fucking stop it. Don't Brandon, you defend don't, him. Don't, don't, listen, you, you don't defend himself. Do, Brandon, you, you don't, don't need defend to defend himself. Brandon. Not, you don't need you, a vagina talking woman listen, to defend you. You have never had it, so don't knock it till you try it. You a virgin, I dude? Fucking, I, you, I, don't I don't know if I can come back from that. You, <laughs> you're right. Okay, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> You've but never had dick, so but do I'm not. Sh- do not diss it You've until you try dick. it. Am I wrong? <laughs> you're very, yeah, you know, you're right. I, I've <laughs> never so, had dick. So, yeah, why, so, down, so what's wrong with anyone having dick? There's nothing wrong there with it. Wrong. Brandon, you can have all the dick that you want. <laughs> on, I you never said that there was anything wrong with having dick. There's nothing wrong with that. I hope Brandon wakes up and jumps into a pool of dicks. I don't. A fucking sad dick. <laughs> I'm ready to go, Brandon. <laughs> Brandon, I wish you were here. I wish, I wish you were here. I really do. Cause he can have a plethora of dicks. Yeah. I don't care what Brandon does. Yeah. A penis. There's party, nothing wrong with it. Yeah. There's okay. nothing wrong with a penis body. You guys want vagina bodies, and some people want both. Absolutely. You that's can good. have the best of both worlds. Yeah. That's vagina. It's the best of both worlds. Mm, I disagree. I would hope that you would. <laughs> I very much disagree with that. How do we always get back on vaginas and dicks? Because you're the one talking about vag- fucking no, vagina. Yes, what? you are. I, we were just talking about France. Overthrown. You're talking about getting all your yeah. hands in. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, France is getting overthrown. You're like, France dick. <laughs> like, hey, let's no, look up the, what's happening in France. Well, they all got dicks. <laughs> you, I think you they got, I think they got overthrown by some terrorist group. <laughs> yeah, those dicks. You're like, 
France yeah, is getting true. overthrown by French dicks. You're talking about shockers over here with fucking your fingers shockers. over there. Brendan, look at this guy's fucking fingers right here, man. Ooh. All right. No one wants that in there. Enough about the French. If it's not fries, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. What are you? What's your... What are what? you? What do you mean? What are you, Portuguese? No. Oh. I'm, I'm what Irish is it? and Filipino. Mm-hmm. I'm just proud of it. Is that why you have big hands? Well, if you knew where the Filipinos ranked on penis size. What, oh, 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 enlighten me. I, I, I don't know this. Con- maybe I need to get educated. Where's you the penis ranking? You wouldn't be talking so much shit. I, uh, where's the penis I have to ranking? admit to the cameras, this is a confession. <laughs> I'm also African. I dribble on my nuts. So where's the penis ranking? I've never heard of the penis ranking. What is this? Um, you, you know those little, talk like, about anything else? <laughs> snot things what? where you, like, suck up baby snot? Like those big... Big balls has like a little push. You call me fucking weird? Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> you You're talking kids? about I do have kids. You know those things? The booger suckers? Yeah. yeah the the, blue things? That's they, what the, I look yeah, like. The, Why is that weird? That's, that's what weird. your dick looks like? Yeah, that's what I look like. Yeah. It's blue? It's <laughs> It's like a it's like a it's, it's a ball and then it has like a little Hershey kiss on it. That's it. I don't have no shaft. That's that's it. I'm done. <laughs> well, that seems easy. So that's where you rank? Yeah, the the blue penis, a, yeah, the blue penis. Is that one where the yeah. Filipinos have? That's that's what they got. That's what I work with. That's uh, yeah. Like I, I <laughs> even if I I try to penetrate, that would be smart, bro. If I penetrate a woman, I just stick here. my whole my all my it's balls into good here happening anymore. <laughs> I, I stick my, all my balls into the vagina. Cause that's all I got. Oh, like a dog. You How do you get your nutsack in a vagina? You're, you're you fucking the wrong in. vagina. You really are. Because if you can fit your hands, Gravity. fingers, your dick, and your balls in there, you're fucking the wrong vagina. No, that's what the dudes want nowadays, bro. Without you don't that. want a flappy one. Why do you want a flappy, like, you wouldn't big know. one? You're not a dude. You're right, I'm not. But you can't. Like like can ray. you not stick a dildo in there, Pilates? Can you not stick other do, things in I there? I do when I have. But that's what I'm saying. So. She makes this very personal. I'm just, I'm just saying. Can you not stick one in Pilardi? <laughs> <laughs> We're having an open forum, like an open conversation. Pilates. Right? <laughs> no, we uh, joke. <laughs> you use, do you use any toys in your sex life with your women? All right, Jesus. No. Christ. What kind? Of, you have to be specific. I'm just curious. Uh, <laughs> which one's extracurricular? Which, which one do you use? Every now and again, I pull out the jackhammer. Um, Is that a vibrator? Oh, an actual jackhammer. Yeah, I wear a helmet and everything. Okay. All right. Do you wear glasses too? Sa- safety, safety glasses first. Safety first. Do you ever have a chick use something on you or no? Like a ring or a buzzy buzz? Nothing. What's a? B- <laughs> I'm very uneducated. I'm what's, a, what's, a, what's a? What's a? What's a buzzy buzz? What the fuck? What's a? What's a? What's a? I love you, your body? friends. I want to know what a buzzy buzz like is. <laughs> yeah, if you ever want to know what you're, <laughs> what Sasha's using on you, don't. What's a buzzy buzz? I want to know. Who cares? Let's see. Cockering that buzz. Do you, do you use like the cock rings and butthole plugs, vagina beads? Nah, right, butthole plugs are weird. Don't Why are no, they? You can DP the girl. Listen, no, you can DP the girl. What nobody's are you starting about? me up like a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean for Larry. I meant you, like put your foot on their ass and start them up. Fucking <laughs> pull out the. Cord. But you can Boobies. DP the girl if you have the butthole plug. Listen, you can do that with. A thumb. You can do it with anything. That's that's cheating. That's that's How's a that cheat- cheating. That's a cheating way of a thumb. You have to use something. So you don't think my actual you, my actual body is cheating, but some kind of fabricated <laughs> piece of plastic Correct. is not you cheating. Have, you, <laughs> you got this all wrong, girl. <laughs> Yo, you were into some like freaky shit. I'm not. I'm you, just wait, educated. I'm not, I call it I'm educated. educated. Yeah, this well, is called education. Is when that you a become doctorate in fucking listen. dick holes? Like what, is, what you got? <laughs> I've got a doctorate in voyeurism. Listen, when you become single and you learn the ways of this lovely generation, it's, it's just like a, it's force. educated. <laughs> when you it's become just... single and learn the lovely ways of the <laughs> same generation that's pissing and shitting in school kitty litter boxes. <laughs> That's You're gonna true. learn a lot. <laughs> he said a jacket. Thanks, hammer. Megan. Bro, he said a jacket. <laughs> Thanks, Megan. Yeah, I think your headphones are on backwards. Are they? I didn't even have <laughs> headphones on backwards. I don't know. Are they? What? I don't They're know. Just looking like a funky shape. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. Okay. It's all about education, boys. You wow, just have that's to be... a lot of spinning. <laughs> <Why> <laughs> so much? I'm gonna, like, Am I not allowed to just be educated on what goes on in this world? That's I all. Listen. I just got educated in a different kind of world. That's all. I don't all. need to know. That people are sticking fucking corkscrews in their urethras. <laughs> I don't even know. I didn't I, say I urethra. I, that wasn't the word I used, but urethra just Franklin. I'm just great. I love. Music. I'm just saying. Have you ever been to the fetish fest? Oh my god, Jesus! Have you ever been there? I said no. It's a legit question. It's and it's not a. It's for the public. 
Anyone can go. That's the problem with it. Is keep, that shit should be kept private. <laughs> it is. And you get to go see, like, people's... <laughs> who's using a corkscrew? <laughs> I don't want to know people's fetishes. Like, but it's, it's, it's educational. Once again, you get to see what other people do. You're like, oh, I didn't know I liked that. Let me try it. Not me. Have you been, Megan? What? Have you been? All right, Megan. To the fetishes? Let's take the mask off. What are your fetishes? I don't, you know what's funny? I really don't have a fetish. Not believing. I have a feeling she's like, I'm a nun. I'm a practicing nun. I really, you know, I'm celibate. I I have been asked that question on Tinder when I was on it, and you know what? I really don't have one. It's really kind of whatever the other person. Kevin, let's get Kevin on the line. Let's phone a friend. Can we call him? You can call. Can we call him? What's his number? You can call him and ask him. He he will not pick up the phone. Kevin, does she suck your? What's his number? I I don't actually know his number. What? You're gonna marry this guy? I actually don't know his phone number. Wow. Give me my phone. Give me my phone. Hit that. I call her bluff. She's like, you can call him. We're calling oh, Kevin, bro. You want to call Kevin? You want to call Mr. Kevin? I don't, he'll pick up my phone call. He Let, won't call you. Let's see. Do you want to see if he picks no, up? No, no, no. I want you to give me his number. Let's plug your phone in and scroll through your it's pictures. It's already plugged. No, we're not doing <laughs> no, 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 now we are now. No, Let's we're, see her pictures. We, no. We want to see the up close I have, I have glistening. Pri- no, I have a private. You can't You have a private? I have a you private, can't. too. You can't. <laughs> All right. Sit down, private. <laughs> six one seven. Oh, he's a mask. She's like yep. six nine six nine. Six one zero. Yep. One 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 seven. He's not gonna pick up the phone for you. Let's see. Make sure it's green. He ain't picking up the phone. If he does, you speak. <laughs> Tell him why we're calling. <laughs> hey, Kevin, we're on the podcast right now. Uh, you got the wrong number. Oh, we do. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the wrong thing that Kevin? you like doing? Wrong <laughs> Kevin. You're asking some random guy, hey, what's that thing you like doing to me? <laughs> Wait, My bad. did you give me the wrong yeah, number? Did you not hear the right number, bro? 617. Seven. <laughs> 710. Oh, I didn't write that. 617. Uh, <laughs> 710. <laughs> <laughs> Zero one one seven. Like, Your boy was like, "Fuck this." <laughs> right, let's try this again. Take two. <laughs> you don't recognize your man's voice. Oh. I was like, Kevin. Hello, Kevin. It's Megan. We're on the podcast. Hey, how's it going? Good. Um, nice Pilate, to meet you, Kevin. P- Pilate and O'Leary want to meet the lovely guy that um, <laughs> is dating me. She's told us so much about you. I don't know. Is that a good thing or not? You're about to tell us because it's about to get weird. <laughs> it's weird already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it sure is. I was telling I them can't about- wait for you to watch it. <laughs> I was telling them about us. Okay. What's her fetish? <laughs> I don't have a fetish. He's asking what my fetish is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what her fetish is. I couldn't tell you. See, I told you I don't okay. have a fetish. Okay. I wasn't All right. lying. All right. They didn't believe me. Yeah. No fetish here. Well, we've just heard a lot of history about your history and her history, and <laughs> yeah, seemed a bit crazy. We know about club electricity. <laughs> You know about a club I've never been to. See, wait, you've never been. I told you he's never been. I didn't lie to you guys. Can we set something up? No. (laughs) He won't go. No. He won't go. Let's go. (laughs) (laughs) He won't go. That was a solid no. (laughs) He won't go. Kevin won't go. It's a solid no. He won't go. Kevin, why? It was nice to uh, informally meet you, sir. We appreciate you loaning us Megan for the day. Oh yeah. (laughs) Okay. Bye, baby. I love you. All right. Love you. Bye, baby. I told you. That's lame. Why do you was that lame? He's not using you to your full potential. <laughs> what's my full what's my full potential? I don't know. I'm gonna leave that up to my imagination. Oh, what's my, my full boy. potential? So it's I'm like so, you bought a, what do you want like to say? You bought a sports car and just keeps it in first. Yes. No, what's there's nothing wrong with that. He's a genuine nice guy. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Genuine. I'm sure he's like it. That's I'm why. Sure what is he supposed to say? What's what? I don't have a fetish out of all this world. I Nothing do. turns you on, like like specifically. Uh, you know, you don't have to answer that. I'm just for conversation's sake. You know, I'm more of shows. a control person. I have control over that everything I do. Me. I can see that. Yeah. I have to. Have to. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> My Whoa. phone was ringing. Let me take it off. <laughs>
Wouldn't you want to be in control of what you do? I'm always in control. <laughs> really? Yeah. Out of everything Except for you... the whole clothespin on my nipples thing. That's, uh, I was You didn't control. control that. No, I did not. Have you ever played in, like, the naked golf tournaments? Like no. the stripper Ray Douglas used to have one. You, Can you imagine me naked on a golf course? I played one of those. You played in one of those? Yeah, I didn't even bring my clubs. It's... <laughs> No, it's what? the girls that are naked. Like I just use my nine iron. No, they have what? like hookers and strippers that are on every hole. You know what I'm saying? Try to. Mm, probably not hookers, but maybe strippers. <laughs> like... You could, could have both. There's no discrimination here. Mm. Right? Yeah. What's the difference between a hooker and a stripper? Penetration. You could still fuck both. The exchange for money for sexual favors is, is not like what a hooker is. And I'm not knocking them. Like, no, I'm uh, no, this. more power to, to them. To me, they're I'm just old. independent contractors. We it's need those. The independent contractors. 1099. Yeah. 1099. You it. file that in your taxes? Yeah, I'd be a hooker <laughs> manager if I had, you know, that'd be a good gig, right? Be mm. the manager of hookers. Like, I just get a percentage isn't, of their money. Isn't that what a pimp is? Hey. <laughs> I, I, I'm curious. Isn't that, isn't that the definition? <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. Pimpin' is pimpin' is pimpin', baby. <laughs> Are you a pimp? Would you like to be a pimp? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm too conservative for that. <laughs> Conservative true, about true. what? Just life in general. I like to, you know. Don't you like variety? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the right circumstance, time and place for everything, Megan. You know, you don't just walk into a podcast talking about hot vaginas and, and penises. I, are you kidding me? I've seen your podcasts before. <laughs> I you Please. I've seen your vagina. I've seen <laughs> no. your penis. No, <laughs> have no. you ever seen his penis or not? No, I have Never. not. No, nope. she's lying. She that. sends me videos all the time. I do not. No, nope. no. Nope. That's what she's doing at work all the time. Yeah. Wow, well, that Stop makes sense. It. That makes sense. Stop it. I would never. I don't do that. What's it look like? I've pictured it. What's it look I, like? I have no idea. I have no idea. She she knows. I have no idea. Don't let her fool you. Nope. Nope. She's chosen. Okay. okay. <laughs> then what is, that if you if I say what's my vagi- gum, what does my you know? vagina look like then? Apparently, since you know, I've seen your dick. Because mm. if I've seen your dick, then then you've seen my vagina. So what does that look like? Um <laughs> exactly, cool. exactly. Because if I'm gonna fuck you, I'm gonna fuck you. It's simple. Okay, it's right. very simple. Okay. Like that's the way it goes. Like I'm in and I'm out. So if I've seen your dick, I could describe it, but I haven't. So just saying. She has, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I would describe it to you <laughs> if I did. Yeah. <laughs> tell me, tell me what it looks like. What does it look like? What should I leave? Do you have like <laughs> circumcised, uncircumcised? Are you thick, small? What? I have an ant eater. What's what's an ant eater? And it's girthy. What's an ant eater? I don't know what an ant eater dick is. Can you explain that to me? What is what, what is that? Can we bring up an ant eater? Nope. <laughs> what is an do ant you, eater? Look- I wouldn't mind funny Chinese around. finger trapping a chick. Like whatever. I thought you were gonna say Sasha's gonna <laughs> fucking hit you in the head with this thing. No, I didn't. I didn't mean that. You ever been Chinese Bang. finger trapped? So explain that one again. Oh, no, oh no. she has. I, she no, no, has, no, no. ladies I, and gentlemen. I need a I need a description of what a Chinese. Finger you know what a Chinese finger trap is? No. I, well, Brandon, I know. I, I know what, what I know what I, I know. Like so, I, so, all right, let's you, put this you just figured it out. Girl. I figured it out. Yeah. But you like, it out. so where do you, you put where do you put the fingers? Like, where do you? Where's my fingers? Like, don't be an idiot. Come on. I know. What, then what's Where the shocker here? Where do you put here? the fingers? Well, the sh- there's only two fucking holes. Well, three, technically. Well, like, oh, she's three, four. I'm like, seven. Seven, like, <laughs> seven if we're being honest. Are we counting years? Are we, uh, <laughs> that's where the seven. One, two, three, four more. Yeah, as long as the dude doesn't touch me, like, maybe we could fucking dock each other, like, in the insides of a chick. <laughs> yeah, but like know. you said, those holes are pretty close to one another, so if you're in yeah. a vagina yeah, and one's in an asshole, you're, touch. you're, you're your, like, your you're touching. Touch. So does that make mm, you gay? Your legs are gonna touch, to like, your body's gonna touch mm. them. I don't know if I could do that. Your balls are literally gonna No, I'm saying, like, front and back, like, I wouldn't care, you know, like, whatever. What no, if it was three the only, the only safe way to do it is, like, bent over and then orally on the other side. You bend, you know, like, yeah. That's the only way to do it. Like where you're bent over and then... Yeah, and you're giving me oral from the other side. <laughs> okay. Brendan. Brendan. It's Brandon. So have you ever... Brendan. Brandon. Brandon. His name is not I Brendan. Know. It's Brandon. <laughs> have you ever been Chinese finger trapped? I have not. That is not one of my expertise. Is, ever been uh, with more than one person at the same time? Many. Dope. Many people or many times? Many times. Okay. Many times. Ever Back. more than two people? Many times. Sheesh. It's called running trains. We ha- we run train. Hmm. <laughs> Everyone's run train here. Tell me, tell me, you all have. I I've 
been in orgies before. <laughs> I got to admit it. <laughs> so just, it's, many times. You've got to be educated, right? You've got to enjoy life. I like the way it's that you like I understand. You put this is. all under education. <laughs> like, you try to, Wouldn't this <laughs> curriculum be great? In listen, the how <laughs> you, <laughs> she's like, you got to be well-rounded in you life. Got, how, do you you know? do. how do you know you don't love going down a blowjob line if you've never went down a blowjob line That's yourself? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, Like, right? if you've never lined up a basketball team in the locker room, how do you know you don't like it? <laughs> Same thing with women, right? How do you know? How do you know you don't like it? The women that are like, oh, vagina's gross. Have you, gross. Been with have more you women tried it? Or more men? <laughs> women it is. <laughs> yes. Probably more women because I'm picky about my men. So yeah. I'm, I'm very selective. I hope you didn't get that. I just spilled it all over myself. <laughs> very selective. I'm picky. Yeah. I'm picky about them. What yes. are you clicking over there, bro? I'm hearing you click. All I heard was, dunno. But that's what makes me different. I look at people differently. You You're different. not different. How Thank am you. I not different? Has it a girl ever come on here and talked the stuff that I've talked? Literally, yes. About Maybe. club electricity? Maybe not about club oh, okay. electricity. Okay, touche. They just do it, though. They don't go to a little ghetto factory to do it. They just do it. <laughs> In the but privacy of their own home, like civilized women. In the privacy civilized of women? Podcast. Oh, so I'm not a civilized <laughs> In woman. In the privacy of our own podcast. <laughs> 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 Last time we had a woman on the podcast, I went upstairs, my girl's home. I go, hey, the guest is coming out of the bathroom in a minute. This girl walks up. My, now, picture you're my wife, right? Like, you just, she's home. She comes <clears> in. She's like, hey, babe. I go, hey, there's a girl here. She goes, for the podcast, I'm like, yeah. Girl walks out of my bathroom, waist and just starts hugging my girl and grabbing her bum. Like, what the fuck is going on? I thought you didn't mind that. A little different. <laughs> Do you see how these circumstances, like, this is the, well, like, you know, I like, don't. There's, there's, well, we're not there's all context, fucking, you know, you know, know yeah, like, like, crazy experience. Does she there, want to fuck you, girl? I hope not. <laughs> like, that's, oh, she's just like some drunken chick. Like, that was just crazy. Do women turn you on? It no, depends. Not just a drunk. It depends on. How about women in depends? In depends? Like diapers. <laughs> no. no. I don't have a fetish. Remember, we've no. already accomplished this. Like, I don't. Have I don't. you and Kevin ever been with another person at the N same time? He won't. He no. won't? Not even another woman? No. Interesting. No, he totally respects me. Does that bother you? Do you think you it's disrespectful like... to do that? I mean, it depends. It depends. Mm. He's a respectful dude. That's what I love about him. You, were, you used to date a couple of our friends, our mutual friends. I, I did. I did. Oh, you can, no, I don't care. Smooth transition. He, know, he knows. Yeah, I, I know, I'm an open person. You can. You can I, didn't, so, I didn't know we had so to bring do you, it up, So who do you bro? know that I've dated? Go ahead. Go ahead. Throw Fuck, out a name. It's a list, I'm, I'm asking. It's a list. I'm I'm kidding, will, what are you kidding. talking about? Go I'm ahead. Asking, I, don't I, don't I don't know. You don't know? No, I don't know. I only know of one. You know one, you I fucking liar. Know. No, I said I only know of one. Oh, okay. Who I'm do you know? Who you know else what? do you know? I'll never lie. You know why people lie? I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I ain't afraid of you. I'm not afraid, baby. Tell us who. I don't I, know. The only people, I, the guy that I think of you know is John Murray. That's I all I know. That's all you know, right? John I, the Jackhammer Murray. Yeah, what's up, Murray? How you doing, baby? Do, 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 do. <laughs> how's, how's he down there? He's good. He must have a hammer. Isn't that his nickname, the hammer? <laughs> Every time I shake his hand, I'm like, "Wow, this guy must be fucking packing." Oh my god, I don't, I don't think I can answer that question. Yeah, probably. probably <laughs> and just tell us off camera. Tell I'm us not. Off camera. No, there's no disrespect. Did you no give disrespect. him the nickname, John the Hammer? I did, I did not. That's give... where he got the nickname, baby. I just, yeah. I think it's because of his poker skills. To I be honest with you, I fucking shake his hand, bro, and is grabbing my elbow. He... I'm like, Jesus, dude. Like, He's a very good poker deep. player. I have mad respect for him. I mean, still to I this respect day, him like... as a man. I think as a poker player, I've fucking shit on him all the time. Why? You think you're a better poker player than I he is? I know I'm a better. If you're watching this, John you, Murray, I dog you on poker. Are you talking about time. cash or are you talking about tournaments? A anything. Cash, tournaments, strip, uh, stud, every okay, variation Okay, so of what makes ever. you better at him than in poker? Enlighten me. Are you more aggressive? Are you, do you know what, do you t read people? So better. You're just better? Just better. Do you I'm think John, John Murray would agree with that? John Murray would agree with that. He'd say, Josh, <laughs> I think that I'm the best player aside from you. Is exactly what he Maybe said. Maybe you should call him and ask him. Let's no. get him on the line. I don't have his number. I no, do. Right no, let's not call him. Wow. <laughs> I, would I, don't, love I don't. I don't. I don't think he's the kind of guy that enjoys being called abruptly out of the blue to. <laughs> I don't jest, think so either. To jest with us, you know. You know. I'll tell you what. I, I gained the respect for John Murray. There was a night that I was in a bar. I almost got into a fight, and John Murray, not knowing who I am, and I didn't know who he was. He goes, hey, listen, if that would have went down, I would have had your back. 
I'm like, oh, that's respectable because I don't yeah. know why, but, you know, yeah. he's probably feeling what I was feeling that night when shit was about to go down. And why were you going to fight is, this person? This is how you know who your real friends are. Uh. Let me explain something. Because you got people, and listen, I love John. Let me be honest. I'm just talking in context, not about John. <laughs> but if you're ever out and you almost get into a fight and then you got your friends that tell you, hey, if that would have went down, I would have had your back. Cool. Those are your friends. True. But if you're ever out, Jay, and you almost get into a fight, <laughs> I'm just blindsiding, suck a shot at everybody. <laughs> That's the second love. you're That's almost love. into a fight, I'm already hitting somebody. That's I'd, the way it goes. I'd be the one videoing it. I'm <laughs> not going to wait for you until you get hit. We'll talk about that shit later. You'd You're be on my Snapchat after. so quick, Jay. I'd be like, Snapchat, bitch, Jay O'Leary. I'm not going to be like, hey, if that guy would have hit you, I would have hit him. Nah, man, I'm jumping in that first before he sees us so we can get the fuck out of there. Yeah, like, I'm going to wait till Jay gets knocked the fuck out. Man. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm going to hold the other guy back. Fuck that, bro. I see somebody no? in your face, bro. I'm going and kicking him in the nuts. Right, you get a pencil right to the fucking eye. Mm. Are you a good poker player? No, I suck. He's, you better suck? Than, he's better than Nino. You get free rooms at Foxwoods and you suck? Yeah, I that's suck. usually I'm what horrible. that means. <laughs> oh, <fuck yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they want you to come back. Yeah. And What do you play again? With dongs. Wow. Big dongs. Big <laughs> what size do you like? Monk size dongs. Monk? I'll tell you a story. So. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> My brother and I, we got drunk at a bar and across the street. <laughs> was gonna get gay. And across the street was an amazing store, so we go in there. I love this story. And we started sword fighting with like those two foot long fucking dildos. Right? Black or, or white? I don't know. Are you Michael Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> fucking, uh, I got questions. Like I got questions. I got questions. So I got like, questions. We're f- we're fencing in the fucking store. The guys, the guy that's working behind the counter, he's getting a little. You know, like, hey guys, can you guys calm down? But anyway, my, at that time, my brother tried to stab me. Like he, he did you open it. the package and you actually no, they were just like... hanging on the thing, like these big ass fucking. Oh, dildos. okay. All so right. we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and he Sorry tried to fucking you. stab me, but luckily, see, this stab is my quick a, thinking. Stab you with a dildo. Yes, we're, <laughs> we're fencing. This okay. is my quick, quick thinking. You know, I fucking pulled out the latex ass shield and it went like right in the fucking cheeks, and he was like, bro, that's not fair. You got an ass shield. <laughs> Have you ever been downstairs in an amazing yeah. store? She just takes you never, she You've never been in an amazing store and been downstairs, no, have you? No, so he's not going down there to do that weird pay to see a show shit. So you know exactly uh, what uh, it is. What, what oh, happens, you, how do you what even know that? What happens down there? How do what you, goes, he does, even knows. What happens down there? You Tell just us. explained no, what that happened. Was a how joke. do you know that? That was a joke. How do you how know? you know that? I, I'm just saying, it, there's some shady shit that goes down there. Cut. <laughs> and when I was a kid, I went to a, a store in the village in New York City, and it was just, they sold, you know, like all the videos and whatever. When you're a young kid, right, you, you're just kind of like, wow, this is this is pretty eye-opening. In the right? back of the store, though, I, now, there was like a, 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 there was a bunch of booths in a circle, and if you walked into that booth, you could pay to see, see the video. What, yeah, video, yeah. whatever you yeah. want. But there was also a window that slid yeah. open. They there have. was performers in the center of, mm-hmm. you know, doing Ooh, whatever. Like the thunder doing. from down under and shit. Or? Yeah, it was like, nice. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> magic. It was like down crazy. There. So, but I saw a guy walking around. He was like, with the bucket coming mm-hmm. in and out of the fucking. I think so dudes used to go in there and jerk. That's off. kind of what it is downstairs oh, yeah. too. It's kind Whoa. of that whole concept of. The video. Now that's, we talked about the best off, job earlier. That's definitely the worst job. What do you Cleaning do? up. Clean I'm a janitor. Clean jizz off the fucking <laughs> amazing sex video jerk off station. Whatever you call it. It's crazy. I don't it's really care for those mom. stores. The amazing stores and whatever. Adam Why don't this up there? <laughs> now you can, um, you can almost buy every kind of thing. That's online. online. Yeah. Even Target sells dildos nowadays. You know that? I did oh, not geez. know that. I, I swear to, to God. One no of the soccer moms told me this. Fucking Target. Yeah, you can, can, you can put around. it in your Instacart and have it delivered to I'm you. I'm just going to shop around and get started. One of the soccer moms told me. Yeah, sure. I swear to God. I didn't, I didn't even know that. I'm pretty She's educated. Like, I have seven things in my cart. <laughs> It's education. You guys just do you own any toys? Do you got yeah, that's what I was gonna do. You yeah. guys use toys? Yes. That's cool. I have many I think, toys. I think it's cool. I think it's many. It can only help. It's fun. It's fun, right? It's just like any other thing. Like when you're a kid, you know, you play with toys. You grow up, you play with toys. What do you guys think about the Sibian thing that it's like a saddle you like ride? Oh, you're talking about the electric thing that goes up and down? 
No, 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 no. It's like it's a saddle for chicks. <laughs> they just sit on it. And yeah, and like, it just it rotates. It goes around. It like vibrates. Yeah, you know? and it yeah. I, I do all of that. They have things. that at Club Electricity too. That's one of the rooms. Oh, it's like a, it's like instead of riding like, the fucking mechanical the bull, they all just ride that, bro. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they all just ride that. Give it a quick wipe after every person. Like, Yo, who went there with Megan? They would be like, Hey, Megan. Your usual VIP. VIP. We cut the front of the line. They got a VIP room. <laughs> no, I am honestly. I I quit so, all that two years ago. You know, all the all my. It's all done. I should have restarted it. It's all done. All done. Game over. Yeah, I just I'm, wanted to be I'm educated. That's all. Stop just, with the education. Chair. That, read that's a fucking book. It's not a read, read a fucking a book. book. Right? You cannot read a book. <laughs> read a book and get this education, sweetheart. You can sweetheart. definitely read a book. No, you can't. You, <laughs> you what I just need, told you? You don't need to blow a nightclub of dudes <laughs> to get educated. <laughs> I didn't right? say you had to blow the <laughs> nightclub. Yeah. You're like, let me let all these guys stick beads in my no, ass. I don't so do I that. So I know what it's like. No, no, I do not do asshole yeah, ass, play. No, ass no. play is, is risky, man. It's, it's risky. very risky. There's it's a lot risky. of shit that can go wrong. Literally. Man. Like, yeah, shit. <laughs> shit goes down, bro. It's gross. Shit goes down, That's why shit I don't know how out. men do it. I don't know how they. No. I th- I, honestly, for me, it's always kind of been like a. No. Just because I did it, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, yeah, it's you like did a it notch once on the belly, you know what I mean? But like, we're not into that, bro. We get we get pretty. No. We get pretty frisky. What if bro. you get shit coming out of there, man? And it happens. It's yeah, coming. it does. Right. My boy, you never Kim fucked a girl in the ass. Look, we're, we're live from shit. the UK, baby. Oh, hey, baby. Love you, daddy. That's my boy, Cameron Chidlow. Hi. He lives uh, over near We have Jay O'Leary stumped right now. <laughs> well, I mean, think about it, bro. It's, like it's it's designed to let shit out, literally, you know? So you keep playing with it, bro. It's, shit's going to come out. You were talking about rim jobs. Do you do rim jobs? I mean, I'm going to throw it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't, I, I might embarrass this. I don't say too much, but I've definitely, you know. Do you do rim jobs, O'Leary? I've definitely. <laughs> Come My on, O'Leary. <laughs> Did I actually stump you on a question? Uh, Brendan, how could you be bored in an episode like this? <laughs> <laughs> See, everyone's My intrigued. He's everyone's like, I want to do a rim <laughs> job. <laughs> nah. Soon to be on the podcast. If we ever do a virtual podcast, we could have one. He's the funniest motherfucker I've ever met. My, My guy up front for me. Soon. This yes. dude. So I play video games with this fool, right? He's in the UK. And when I tell you, there's been many times where we're just in a, in a party chat. Like, so I hear him in the headphones. There's probably been at least two dozen times where he's had me laughing so hard. <laughs> I had to take my headphones off because I was worried I was going to pass out if I kept hearing him talk to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> Why? Because I was just laughing too hard, bro. I couldn't breathe. No, I know. But, like, what's he saying? Like, I know. What I, are dude, you saying? Dude, I can't even tell you. Just <laughs> There was one time it was so simple, right? Because remember, he lives in a different part yeah. of the world. No, no. So we're having a genuine conversation about, like, food here and food there. And he's talking to me about, yeah, man, you know, for breakfast, uh-huh. I remember going to... States once I've had like little herby diced potatoes and some <laughs> eggs and shit. And he's like, What are you eat now? And I'm like, well, I'm just eating some Chinese food. He's like, Oh yeah, like some some noodles and some chicken. I'm like, Yeah, and some crab rangoons and he goes, Fuck did you say me? <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> and I was like, dude, just like a little thing, I don't know, man. Like yeah. it had me dying, bro. No. Nah. Or like, dude, he'll. What's up, Cameron? I don't know, man. No, I know what you're saying. My you know, best friend lives just, in Germany, lingo, and I go see lingo, her. The accent, everything is crazy, bro. They it's have funny. different, uh, different sayings over there too. It's yeah. interesting, but. Megan's like, do they have English dicks? <laughs> <laughs> you and the dicks. You, no, you, me and the dicks. You, you, you and the, and the dicks. <laughs> no, I was saying vagina. You, you were saying fucking the vagina dicks. dicks. Yeah. You were talking about dicks, bro. You I, I'm talking starting about to rim think. jobs, um, no. everything. <laughs> I'm starting We're to like, think. Oh, let's try to transition into affirmative action. She's like, affirmative <laughs> dicks. Dude, You're the one talking about dicks. <laughs> you're starting to scam me now. You're starting to scam me. Why, are you no. afraid of gay people? No, I love gay people. Ooh, more I'm, than straight people? No, I love all kinds. Okay. I'm all... For whatever you want to be, white, black, green, purple. So would you rather whatever. a dick or a vagina? You already asked me. I told you dick. Okay, a smelly dick or a vagina. <sighs> smelly meaning like sweaty, smelly, or smelly like. I don't know. I'm gonna throw up. Are you talking? What kind of smelly are you talking about? <laughs> like smelly like like <laughs> sweaty, <laughs> smelly, or like Dior Sauvage I sweaty. I know, like what kind like of essential s- oil sweat, uh, smelly? <laughs> like <laughs> like well, you have to describe yourself. What sweaty means at that point. Uh, I don't know. I was just being hypothetical. I would. I mean, everyone's fucked in the heat of the moment, right? When you're all sweaty and gross. Like all obviously, right. like I would. But if you yeah. smelled like shit, no, like stuff like that, no. Would you fuck a sweaty vagina? Why are you? I'm asking your body you. Temperature up. <laughs> Like if it actually was sweating. That, like, <laughs> what does it say? Tell us. What sweaty vagina? Like a cheesy dick. 
A che- <laughs> Cheesy dick. What's <laughs> my boy said like, like a cheesy dick. <laughs> cheesy dick. What's a cheesy dick? I don't know what that means. Like a corny one. No, like when it's <laughs> when it's sweat. <laughs> when you've been sweating for a little while, then it dries up and you sweat again, so it kind of gets wet and then it dries up again, so the texture is kind of like curdled. Oh no, <laughs> no, <laughs> that's fucking gross, bro. I tried no. to make. Do you have any ads to read? That's or something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No. Yeah, speaking of that, speaking of that, we gotta take like a second. Of, we gotta take a we gotta take a second to thank our sponsors. I'm gonna go first. Oh, okay. I wanna first um, you know, give a big thanks to Division Street Auto. It's my boy George George Ferreira. George the boy King George. Ferreira, who does not have a cheesy dick, but you know what he does have? The big swinging dick of car auto sales and service places in Pawtucket. So, you know, if you're tired of dealing with some bullshit mechanics and you don't really have anybody that you know and trust. Go see my boy George at 595 Division Street in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, because they can fix anything with your car, man. I've been taking my cars there, all my cars, my family's cars for the last little over 10 years now. And the the main reason I do that is because I trust him. You know what I mean? I know that if my car really needs something, he's going to tell me. If it's if it can last another eight months before I need to replace it, he's going to tell me. You know, he's not out there to make a quick buck. He's out there to take care of the customer. So we keep coming back. And that's hard to find in a mechanic. Um, on top of that, they sell cars, too. So if you need, you know, like a, a reasonably priced kind of like cheap car, they're great for first cars if your kid's about to drive. Or if you just need something, you know, 10, 15, 20 grand to get you through for a couple of years, they've got you. Uh, whether you got a Tesla, whether you have a truck, whether you have a fucking Nissan Pathfinder or a Porsche, they can work on anything. They specialize in Volkswagens and Audis. But either way, George is my people. If you need an oil change, new window wipers on a BMW, Division Street can fix that for your boy. So... Call 401-723-7808. Nope, I fucked that up. Call 401-723-7080 or stop by 59 Division Street in Pawtucket right now. You tell them you heard about them on the J2 podcast for a 0% discount, and they will take care of you, baby. Love you, George. (laughs) Looking for a barbershop that delivers exceptional haircuts with decades of combined experience? Look no further than... Cambio's Cuts. Mm. Located at 190 Putnam Pike and Johnson. 029. Well, we don't need the, the uh, zip code. And reachable at 401-580-6651. Cambio's Cuts provides all types of haircuts and beard services from basic cuts to complex designs. I know my boy Josh goes there. He's been a regular there for how long? About 15 years. 15 years. He vouches for them. Their experienced barbers take pride in their attention to detail making sure every client leaves feeling on point. They listen to their clients' needs, discuss any concerns, and makes recommendations based on hair type and personal style. Whether you're a new client or regular, Cambio's Cuts Barbershop will make sure your experience is nothing short of exceptional. So if you're ready for a haircut that will leave you feeling confident and on top of the world, book your appointment today at Cambio's Cunts. Dirty, dirty ones or clean smelly ones? ones or <laughs> which which ones are you talking about? Cheesy I don't know. Ones. I don't know. Cheesy ones. Because oh, this one's one some gross one. vagina. Trust me, Jay. You and the vagina. No, What's we, going we, on? We, we we rotated here. We rotated to the other one. She's like we sat and rotated. Like, I'm just saying. This, I know about a gross vagina. There's some gross ones out there, man. Like I don't know how you guys do it. How would you describe a gross one? Like what makes roast gross beef anyways? curtains when you can like flap yeah, can, them like can, over? Like is that controllable though, or is that just how? Of course, how you're you born don't with? get fucked. It's like a chicken. Like you're just getting plucked. Okay, is, that, like, is that real? Like, what? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that true though? Like does having sex with a lot of people really affect the way the outside yes. of your vagina looks? Yes, it does. I th- I thought that was like disproven. I don't think. Because let me ask you this, right? I've been with this girl for forever. Why does her vagina not look like that? We have sex a lot. Some vaginas are different. I, I feel don't like know. That, I they're feel like flappy. That I don't know. That, yeah, I think they're just they're born flappy. different, though. Like, I don't. I don't think it's based on how many people you have sex with or how often you have sex. I think you. But would you want to look at a flappy vagina well, versus I mean, a nice one? To me, that's just kind of like shit. Like, what right? can they do? Like, it's just like somebody is your with vagina a big flappy. Nose. That's. I mean, <laughs> is that what you're saying? That yours is not flappy. What do you suggest? So they get surgery? Yeah, you can get reconstructive surgery oh, in your vagina. So you're just saying like, fuck. If you're born with an ugly vagina, fix it. <laughs> Pretty much. It's the same thing as Botox. I mean, if you got, you know, need some fillers. A little face. more in depth. Couple <laughs> shots to your vagina. <laughs> You're saying it's like so people vagina. should get Botox to their vagina. Somewhat, yeah. Why not? Make sure it looks good down there, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, listen, what does a good, what uh, does a good vagina look like? I mean, like, can we what? Google. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, Google Megan's me. vagina. No, not <laughs> Megan's vagina. <Yeah. laughs> no. <laughs> what does it look like? Put it up there. <laughs> <laughs> look at my boy. Jay, sort this girl out. She wants you. <laughs> no, she's taken. She, she likes fit guys. Nah, you know. <laughs> A healthy vagina. What? What is a healthy vagina? Oh, okay. Stop it. <laughs> Look at the healthy. We got a healthy vagina on here. Look at oh, this. That one wasn't healthy. It looked like a flower. Look, you got a healthy vagina. What that looks like. Look, you have the outer labia, yeah. the inner one. Jay, pour some shots, bro. And the, and the pee brand, hole. We have a pee hole. See that pubic mouth? Is that the that technical has to go. term? <laughs> pee hole? <laughs> That's what it says. That's got to go, man. Hair has to go. There should be nothing down there. There should be, uh -huh. you should, no Jeez, landing strips. No, 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 no. Prove all, it. <laughs> all your landing strips and your, these cookie cutter designs that they do nowadays are just crazy. Like, I just like, I like, I there's only one, no, no, I don't, I'm not usually a hair person, but my <laughs> favorite, my favorite thing that my girl does is she does the Mr. T thing around her. What the fuck is the Mr. T <laughs> thing? I don't even know. Do you, you know, know what Mr. that is? The fool. What, is Mr. <laughs> what the fuck is, do you know what a Mr. T is? What yeah, is a Mr. Mr. T beard? I don't even know what that yeah. is. Bring up Mr. T. What's a Mr. T? Brandon, get this shit off of us. <laughs> <laughs> That's what your vagina looks like. It looks like Mr. Harry. T. What's up, bro? Hey, you're on um hold on. Is he coming through the headphones? Yeah, yeah I can hear. You're um you're on the podcast right now, bro. You asked me how it's going, I wanted you to know. Who's this? So, who's What's this? going on, man? Harry. What's going on, bro? We're doing good, good over baby. here. Everybody hears you through the headphones, so you're going to be on the episode. I hope you're cool with that. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Why can't I hear him through the headphones? You guys can I hear can't hear him through the headphones, can, only because I can hear I him can through hear your phone. phone hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. We got, we got issues here. There we go. Now let me hear that little Arabian voice. Arabian night. Say something. I love you. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah I can daddy. hear you now. I can hear you now. There he is, daddy. What are you guys talking about? Mr. T Vaginas. and vagina. I wish I could say something else, but it's only, <laughs> it's only penis and vag. It's like two hours worth of. So vaginas. why does a vagina look like Mr. I tried, T? I tried, I like, tried to have them talk about like... France and how it's being overthrown by a terrorist group right now, but all I got asked was like, what French dicks look like. <laughs> By O'Leary. Hey. A baguette. Let's say, hey. A baguette. Jay, Jay, like a baguette. <laughs> Jay and I are taking a shower. No, no stop with your water bullshit. No, no, You're not no, no, included. No, no. I'm very included. You're over here drinking water with us. Like, we're cheers in that. We ain't cheers in that. Salute. You're cheers in water. It's, it's, healthy, you, my it's fucking healthy for you. Is that game going or what? Yeah, in one hour. Oh. Is it online poker, I'm assuming? No. Ah! <laughs> what kind of game are you doing? Uh, Tequila. Why am I holding my elbow? Like, Isn't that cool? You're hearing me through the microphone, bro. <laughs> is that working? How sick is that? Wing? Oh, yeah. yeah. How do I sound good? Chicken wing. Mm, yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe you could, you know, go what on the website. What kind of Arabic are you? What the fuck is that? Hey. Damn. You know what I gotta do? Hey. Next? We should actually fucking hook this up to like AirPlay or something. Mm. So when we do Facetime somebody, we can show their picture up there. So Mr. That T looks like that someone's vagina. That's pretty bad, man. That's pretty bad. All right, bad. baby, I love you. That's bad. I no? think Jay and I are going to see you later. I hope you guys come. That'd be a lot of fun. Oh, I'm going to come, all right. I'm not even breathing heavy. We'll be coming. <laughs> love you. Love you too, bro. Yep, whoops. Come on, what man. Am I? One shot. Just no. one. That's one of my favorite no. features. Oh, no. Doubt it. Doubt it. No. We can call people in. No, I got to go get my kids after this. <clears throat> no, I don't drink. Yeah, you can no. beat them later. <laughs> no, I'm a responsible adult. Responsible vagina. We got to start asking people ahead of time, like, if they're going to drink on the podcast. So if they say no, we could be like, all right. I can't even we'll imagine reschedule. what we would talk hey, about. you need Her to respect that. If someone yeah, I do respect it. Like, out of respect, I'm going to tell you, don't waste your time and come. Just go do something <laughs> else on Sunday. Why? Oh, I'm just kidding, you know. Come like, on. I'm an alcoholic. I feel bad when I drink alone. <laughs> he's he's not okay. I don't know. She went. She doesn't have to drink. She's just yeah, high facts. On actually, the fact that you were like, if you were drunk, this might be an issue. <laughs> I know. Like, what would we talk about if she was drunk? She'd be like, I, I can't even imagine. You ever had your intestines squeezed? <laughs> like, what the fuck, bro? You have a dick in your vagina. You ever had somebody <laughs> tickle your like heart from the inside? <laughs> I'm never calling customer service ever again. No. I'm just no shit. I can't, I'm don't even, don't, don't even don't even mention not anything even. work related. I know. I'm just no. not even gonna. No, can't, I'm a totally different it. person at work. I'm I'm professional. So. Yeah. 
Yeah. Professional dick. No, You're no, we don't talk about any of that. That's not what I heard. What you Is heard? mine activated? How's that pussy looking? <laughs> <laughs> I don't do activations, but <laughs> something's wrong with my bill. Show me your cock. <laughs> Show me your cock. <laughs> Oh, oh I would yes. never. No, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a totally professional person. I like. Nah, it's funny because um, a lot of people say that, right? A lot of people talk about coming on the podcast and like, aren't you worried? You know, no like you work intended. and everything like that. No, it's not I, I never ran related. because yeah, that's the thing is I I never judge anybody for how they are like ever. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? At the end of the day. When you're working, you should be judged on your results at work. Correct. And when you're a person, like, you're just a person, you know? I had somebody ask me recently, like, oh, you know, I hope you didn't judge me on your podcast because I got a little drunk and silly and I don't want you to look at me like this. I'm like, listen. You don't nobody, give a fuck. Nobody gets drunker and sillier than I get. You know what I mean? So who am I to judge anybody on how they are outside of work? You know I agree like, with We you. don't care that you're a little sloppy whore. <clears throat> you're a little sloppy it. whore, too. I am. Yeah, you know, I am. You, you vary. You sloppy. Yeah. Ooh, you guys should out slop each other right now. <laughs> I am. I, I don't. He's sloppy. I am sloppy. I'm sloppy sloppy Joe. Just like <laughs> sloppy. Dive right in. Sloppy. Mr. T's sloppy hose. Joe. I'm gonna I call you now. I dive right Mr. in. I just, I just, Have neither of you ever I seen the pussy. Adam Sandler mm. song, the Which, Lunch Lady Land sloppy song? Sloppy Joe. Slop. Sloppy Joe. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no. Sloppy Bang. Joe. Have you seen the SNL with Chris Farley? Which one? That one, that exact when he's performing. When Chris Farley is the lunch lady? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So fucking hilarious. <laughs> lunch lady land. No. Yo, Chris Farley's like, navy beans, navy beans, I navy beans. I can't pull the wait till the next time you Hold call me at work. At customer <laughs> service. My line's Me 115. <laughs> you should call me, and I'm just going to be I'm like, never huh? calling you. I'm are you, never, ever are you Mr. Here. O'Leary? What do you do for a job? It's going to be on a recorded line. Like, <laughs> Monsieur O'Leary. <laughs> show me the baguette. Like, O'Leary, what's up? I'm going to be like, show me your vagina, Megan. Okay. I'd be like, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. You have the wrong wrong number. <laughs> Sorry, Kev. I'm just kidding. I got respect. Wrong wrong line. Wrong line. <laughs> D-line. D-cline. D-line. See, it's already D-line. on your line. D-line. D-rail. Oh, um. I honestly love where I work. Honestly, I, I'm happy when I go in every day. And Don't say where that is right now. I know. I'm just saying I'm You're happy. Off a bit. I'm happy. Yeah, you know? I, I told I'm you, a happy bro. person in general. Glory hole beta testers is one of the coolest <laughs> coolest job titles I've ever heard. I think that was you who wanted to be the glory. I wanted to be the cat house. What's so I think song? you got to confuse. It's song. Glory hole. I don't know why men do that, actually. I just... I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Brandon. The glory hole thing yeah, doesn't really just, That's appeal a new thing we're adding, bro. Give him a break. Give him a break. Wait, on what side? What are you talking about? On neither side. side. I just don't see the, the point of sticking your dick in a hole. Like, no, you don't even you know who's on the, the other side. on the other side? No, you, you but you, you don't be, have a dick. Uh, but it could be no a dude on the other know. side does, sucking your dick. How do you know that? Doesn't matter. What do you mean? Matter. It does matter. Like it does. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's <a good> <laughs> it, it wouldn't you be? I'm like, doing the whole the rest of the episode in an English accent. <laughs> but right, wouldn't you be mad if a guy was sucking no. your dick? Well, yeah, of course. But that's well, not. What? But you don't know if you just stick it in a hole. How how do you I know? know. You does your dick suck in a hole? Don't stick your dick in a hole. I I wouldn't stick. <laughs> I wouldn't stick anything in a hole. That's what I'm trying to say to you. Like. I don't know how you men do that. You'd have a tough time being a dude. <laughs> I don't know how you men do that. Just stick your dick in there and just hope, like, you know, hope for the best. Hopefully yeah. there's not a Venus flytrap on the other <laughs> That's side. That's what I'm saying. How do you know? It could be a mouse trap. It could be... Oh! You, know, <laughs> <a mousetrap. laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, why would there be a mouse trap? Like, gotcha. Like, look at this. Like, the, dude just, daylight, the, the dude from Daylight NBC comes out like, hi, you thought you were getting your dick sucked today. <laughs> Let's talk about... <laughs> it's like somebody on the other side smacks it. Like, like, Ashton Kutcher that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's why I give you guys credit. I don't think I'd have the balls to actually do oh, that. Like, you don't have I, the balls to do anything. No, I you know, but I'm just saying yeah. I couldn't. I'd be afraid what was on the other well, side. Well, that's the difference between you and men. You know, you don't have the balls to do things that we do. Yeah, I agree. Which is I why would. you are able to walk around freely in this world because men allow it. You know, sometimes it's cool <laughs> to just take us. that. You gonna take that? Sometimes wow, it's cool to just men us. allow it. I like it. You don't think it's a woman's world right now? Um, I don't. I don't. You don't? Here's what I'll say, right? Listen, get him. I might get some heat for this. Well, that's all right. He can this. speak his mind. I think that... <laughs> in, <laughs> like, when you take it back, when you take it back to you know, where it's always been, like, throughout history, men, uh, women have submitted to men, yes? Yes. Right. 
and recently, you know, there's been fight for equal rights, and you know, yep. obviously, men are a lot more <laughs> allowing of women to move through society okay. a, as equal. Okay, but you can never, you can never deny the fact that as that happens, and regardless of when and how it happens, it still comes down to men allowing it to happen. Why? Would do you they... disagree? I just have a question, though. I'm, I'm not saying I agree yeah, yeah. or disagree, but why? What do you mean allow? I think you're using the wrong term. Oh, you're, I'm using the right you're, term. I think baby. You're, you're saying allow, like it's like I my am, dog. Like you I say, am sit. Very, and I'm gonna very, sit. You know, like what does that mean? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like what, is the what do you mean I'm, allow? What's the word I'm looking for? I you am say very allow. Because men with the control words the world. Right. Because I mean, put it this way. Let's go back to yesterday. Women having, you know, like, not having the right to vote, for example. Okay. Right? Yeah. How did that happen? Men allowed it. Is that what you're, you're insinuating? I don't know if I'm insinuating or if that's just a fact that that happened. <laughs> yeah. Like, there was never a time in this world where, like, men didn't have the right but to vote. But could you guys live without us? Yes. Really? We could just impregnate you, lock you up, and take the babies and raise them. <laughs> it's called rape. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, so you guys could live without us. Um, I think society could still function and flourish if if women. So were all just the here women disappear breeding. and. Well, disappear, obviously. Not. So like, then what, ha what happens? Correct. Yeah. So you need us to right? reproduce. To reproduce. And that's all you need us for is just for vagina, as we'll call it. Mm. That's all you that's all you need us for. You don't need us for anything else in this world. No, I'm just making you look at it. You guys I'm making you look at it. Yes. I'm making you look at it from a different perspective, no, no, right? Is that I, all I'm, you need us for? I'm saying you're like, just saying you need us for if vagina. If you're talking and about like it. a straight up biological need, yeah, then go yes, ahead. yes. That's and then what do we need you for? The sperm? Is that Se what you're saying? Security. So, security. Well, at the end of the day, if a, if a man if a man tried to come and kill you, you're not gonna fight for your you're not gonna fight him off yourself. How do you know that? Um. Men are just bigger and stronger than you. Some of them. Most of them. Some. The all right, so if you take Some. all of the women and they fight all of the men, who do you think is going to win? What if I had a gun? I could just put point blank shoot you. Do you, you think men would just be like, what is this thing in my hand? How do I use it? They <laughs> like, would, I'm just saying. Shoot you back. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, answer my question, right? So let me ask you. Let me, And Go I, I want to be very, very clear with this. So okay. there's no context. You don't have... It's a... It's a Ambiguity. Men or women is the only answer. <laughs> yeah. If a hundred men... Fought a hundred women yep. of random backgrounds. Okay. To the death. Okay. Who do you think would win that? Men fight? would win. Okay. Just off of size, and I get that. Right. Off of, no, genetics. Off, oh, yeah. Off of biology. Off Bi of science. Correct. She's right. like, do they have dicks? <laughs> <laughs> but in this lovely new world, as I call it, this is the the new world we live in now. The new world yeah, we live in now. Shit applies. Women do have rights, obviously. But why, though? And, and I'm not saying this to be an asshole, because I agree. No, like, I respect I, women, and I, I think know, we should I live this women way. Too. I'm just but, that, like, if you, you know, if we're just being silly and talking about facts, it's women have rights because men allow them to have rights. You're using the wrong terminology, though. No, allow, allow is the right word. I don't think that's the right why? word. I just don't think, because you're, you're, who, you're talking who, as us as a possession. We're who, not a possession. No, no, I don't own you. But that's, I'm not but, but that's what you're saying. I allow you, old lady, to suck a dick today. Do you know what I'm saying? What? That's what but that's Listen, exactly what it sounds like to me when how, you're saying how you're that. taking you're it right now. <laughs> but when you say so, women now have the right to vote, right? Yes. Women have rights now. Correct. Where did they come from? I don't who, suck. Dick who just afforded for the women the rights? <laughs> I mean, who? All right, let me stop you. Who was stopping the women from having rights before they had them? Was it other women? That seems silly. I didn't say it was. Who was it then? I, it was men. How? To your point. To but your if, point. If it was men, what happened to men? Did men? What word would you use to afford women rights at that point? Generosity. Give? Generosity? That's worse than allow. That's like <laughs> charity, would, bitch. I wouldn't have said allow fucking allow. Like, okay, we're on the same page. But you're you talking be to charity? women as a possession. I'm not. I don't possess, but you I say possess allow. one woman. I allow no, no, no. you, I got, lady, all right, to so do let me, something to listen, me. I have one woman. I allow her to do things. But she's not a possession She's my possession. She is not your she possession. Is. She, does she have a brain? She does. So she can make her own decisions, can't she? She can, but she's going to go with my decisions. Why? Because I influence her decisions, because she submits to my decision making. But why shouldn't you submit to her? Because she doesn't provide me security and stability. I provide that for her. Isn't it a 50 50? No, absolutely not. With some things. In a relationship, it's no, not 50 50. It depends 50. what we're talking about. Wow. 
Oh. Like when it comes to caretaking the home and the kids, it's probably like 80 20, her 80, my 20. Well, put it this way. Yeah. When it, hold on. When it, when it comes to providing structure, stability, safety, security, I think it's that's probably great. 90 10. And I think that's great. I don't, yeah. I don't deny that. But so, uh, I believe in a, 50, 50. I believe in. How does it work in your household? It's 50 50. So somebody breaks who in, you're getting who, up to fight. Kevin, do you provide security? Yes, he does. 100%. So but but, I, also should, in, but I also should provide security for him, too. Not no, security, no, like no, if someone. That's some, not how men work. But but Megan, that's the somebody's wrong. at the door. Go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> you go first. I'll be right here. I got your that's back. Not it. <laughs> Come on, I'm, we're in this I'm, together. I'm just saying. Megan, squish that spider for me. <laughs> it's, uh, that, no. That's not the same. That's not no, the same. No, it's just hey. a fifty. Hey, no, don't, don't, don't bugs, bitch. Bugs <laughs> are not the same. Bugs are not the same. It's bugs a fifty-fifty relationship. No. Yes, a hundred percent. I agree with you in in like. In my relationship, it's fifty-fifty. There's no like he he pays all the bills and I just. The house, hold on, the wait, cooking wait, hold on, and wait. the cleaning. Like, you're, it you're saying 50 like 50, that. like, no. there's a number of tasks that need to happen, correct? That need to be executed for correct. this relationship to work 100%. And it's split 50 50, 50 yes. 50. But when it comes to safety wait, and security, the man is supposed to be, but a woman should feel secure, and it doesn't matter, they don't need a man to feel secure, they should feel secure. No, no, in no, anything no. That feel they do. secure. I'm talking about be secure, yeah. yeah. She might not there's need me, but I'm sure that you know, she appreciates she wants it, or at the end of the day, listen, you might not need it. You know, like I don't, in the grand scheme of thing, I don't need her to raise my kids. But I know that my kids have a better life because she's here to raise them. Yes, 100%. Like she doesn't need me to provide security and stability for her. But I'm just saying, why but her can't you and have kids, a 50 50 relationship? Is my question. Like why? you do 50% of the because work and she does 50% of the stupid. work. Because that's stupid. She's better at things than I'm, be- you know, Touché. like I'm better at things. Touche. Yeah. You know, I like agree. At the <laughs> bottom, at the end of the day, I think that your man should be better at providing security and stability for you, and yes. you should be better at nurturing and raising the kids and taking care of the house. So what would you say to a single mother then? I was raised by a single mother. Okay, so what would you say? I would say, fucking mom, thank you, because I understand how hard that is to be a single mother yeah. and trying to play both roles, because it's not ideal, no. and you're doing the it's best that you can. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's, what like what it, can I say? Just like a single father. What do you want me to Correct. say? Single Go father die? Too, you know what I mean? There's, I didn't there's mean not that really many disrespect. No. no, 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 I get it, but the, <laughs> there's not much to say. There's a reality to it. I w- I'm not saying that they're less... Uh, they're less of anything because if anything, they're a single mother is a is a better, stronger person than I am. Because I've never had to do it alone. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I don't know if I could do it alone. I'm sure I'd figure it out. Yeah. But we all do. Just because it's harder for them to do it doesn't mean that I think that's a better way to do it. Mm-hmm. It's still if you're listen, if you're raised there's statistics. If you're raised by a single parent, mm-hmm. you're at a disadvantage in this world. Yeah, it sucks, but it's it the does. truth. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't think that's an ideal to way ideal way to raise a kid i I'm, think you should all i'm saying i think you just used the wrong word but that's it's the all. right word but that's your mm. feeling doesn't make it you're right fact, it doesn't make you know it right I, mean? I agree think i'm about not it this saying way, right? i disagree but think about it this way you're in my house right now right i am i allow you to have this glass because it's my glass okay right it's my house it's my glass that's just the word that i use because it's the right word for the situation <laughs> As far as time goes back, you know, like men ruled a certain way and women had a certain um, contribution. Yeah. Ultimately, it got to a point where women were like, hey, like we kind of like want to be able to vote and influence things, too. Mm-hmm. But if if men didn't allow it, would it have happened? He used the word again. Because yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to explain why I'm <laughs> using that word. There's a practical reason yes. why he's you know, using like, that it, word. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, like what if men didn't want that to happen? Would it still it happen? Just happen? Depends. On oh. what? It, it just happen. depends. It on could what, happen. Though? What would it depend on? <laughs> I'm just but saying. It, but it did happen because enough men said, you know what, let's allow it. Like, mm-hmm. let's do it. And I don't think that's wrong that men did that. Like, we should give women a voice, obviously. Mm-hmm. But I'm just, again, and I'm just talking to talk. Like, I'm not saying that I believe that we uh-huh. should not allow it. But the allow, I think, is the right word because men allow it. Strongly disagree. What would be you the right word? Give me a better you, word. I give t- me a better word. I don't know. I just because there isn't one. I just wouldn't use that word. That's what all. What word would you use though? I, Forget about catering to feelings and how the word I, makes I, you I feel. I don't get. Are you serious? What I just talked about? You think I give a fuck about feelings? No, but this obviously <laughs> this obviously hits you a little different, and I can appreciate it. It does because Be- I just because don't you're a believe. strong ass woman, and I can see she that from is, you. Yes. <laughs> you're independent. You are. You, I, were you a single mom for a little while? I yeah, I was. Right, so I can see that all of this stuff <laughs> hits close to home, and that's why it's personable and yeah. you're emotional, and I respect it, and I love you because I, I you're a single mom, and I. Think yeah. You're, you work harder than a lot of people will ever know how hard it is to work 100%. and survive. And I told you, my mom was a single mom. Mm-hmm. But I would say the same thing to my mom. You know, like it doesn't, the fact that the word bothers you because it feels like men are possessive and we own and control things Correct. doesn't mean it's not the right word to use. 
it's just like that is the reality of what life was like. You know what I mean? Like men, think about it this way. If you had to fight for the right to something, is mm-hmm. it really a right? You know what I mean? Like I don't ever have to fight for my right to breathe because I can just do it. Mm-hmm. If you have to fight for it, it's probably a privilege, not really a right. Well, let's, let's, let's ask a very general question here on the globe. Do men or women run this globe? Agree to disagree. No, I'm, hold on, wait, yeah. Agree <laughs> to disagree <laughs> right now. No, hold on. Wait. I'm, I'm asking a question. I'm just asking a question. <laughs> Agree to disagree. Wait, no, no. I'm, I'm asking a very do, do do men run the globe or do women run the globe? Why does why do either or have to run something? I'm not talking and be about in power. I'm just talking about what is not necessarily what is right, what is wrong. When you say run, do you mean like the positions of power that's that what make I'm decisions? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's obviously men. So yeah, men. Men run. Run. Men run the world. Not saying that they should or they shouldn't, but that is I'm not what it's is right, right or wrong. Right. I'm just saying that's Do you just what feel it is. Overall, like in, are you talking about like politicians? Are you talking about government? Well, that's who I'm government. That's who runs the world. Just, government. Listen, government and money. Think of where most of the government positions of power and money lies. It's in the, the hands of men. Okay, I'll let's give just you that. talk about let's just talk about America and our physical military force. Is it mostly men or women? Men. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, I don't disagree. Right. You can't. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> So, all I'm saying is, you know what I'm like. So I know what you're women, saying. Is that, that word, that is, word has it's a, it's a negative. Yeah, it it's is. triggering. That's it's a perfect word for it. But I, and I understand it, but it doesn't mean it's. That's like me saying like Megan. Doesn't mean you, it's inaccurate. If you were to say like, "Damn, Josh, you're pretty fat," I could be like, that's, "I would never say no, that." No, you first might not. Of all. But let me give you the let me give you the reality though. <laughs> is you? I might be able to fight you and be like, "Well, that's a triggering word. You could use another word, but it doesn't make your word not correct." Right. You know what I mean? Like regardless of how I. Yeah. I'll give you that. How that's fucked up. I, How, I'm I didn't mean it's it. Like, you are. I meant like the <laughs> word was no, like reality. But that's what I'm saying is the, the and the word allow is the reality and it might be triggering. It might it might not be like the most coddling word, but it is the correct word. Right. So you're saying everyone in this world should be realists. I'm going to use that word. I'm not even. I don't think people should do whatever they want to do. That's like, you, I'm, but that's you. what you just said to me, right? That that word that you used. Allow is yeah. You don't have to be. Real. You're allowed to be bothered by the word. I'm not saying I'm, that you shouldn't. No, I'm just. I'm just saying that that's the word that I'm going to use because it's an action. It's the correct. It's word. accurate. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I'm not going to cater to somebody's feelings and then say the wrong word just because they don't like the real word. You know, and I don't. I'm not saying that to be disrespectful. I'm just saying like it is what it I is. I hate it because he's so fucking right. I fucking yeah. Hate yeah it. But no, I'm, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, I hate to fucking admit that he's I right. I know because like I'm be honest with you. Like I, I, for example, like I'll I'll throw this thing out there, and I'm not saying we need to get into the topic, but based on the last two and a half minutes, you would think like, damn, this guy is kind of a fucking like no, you're a narcissistic realist. dude. But like when it comes to an issue like abortion, like I'm pro women in that situation. And I put my own feelings aside to be pro woman. So I'm not like some guy that thinks like we should tell women what to do. I'm just saying like the reality is is you know like women are where they are today because men allow it. And if men didn't allow it, we would be in a pretty shitty situation. You know. I don't disagree with you. I'm just saying it's you, hard to. No, mm-hmm. you are a realist. I'm gonna call you. That's what you are, right? Am I wrong here? Is he not a realist and he does say exactly what it is? Sometimes I can be an optimist. (laughs) An optimist. All right. I'm just saying that word wouldn't go over well with some people. That's it all. Doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Like yeah. the way you say it is like. Hmm. And listen, if anybody could ever tell me a more accurate word to use, I would use it. But <laughs> as of right now, my limited knowledge of the English language allowed is the best word that <laughs> I can use. To, <laughs> Hold on. To put on Let's clarify really fast. Is it the way he's saying it or is it the way that it's being taken? No, no, no. It's just the no, way he's I saying it. I couldn't say it in a more respectful way. No, allow is the I just, perfect word. Don't believe women should be a possession. That's all, or anyone should be a possession. Even men, even men. I'm sorry, I shouldn't even say men. I'm going to include you guys too. We don't have to worry about that though. But you, (laughs) I don't know. I see it different. But But we can agree to disagree. I'm all right with it. It's like I think I had an argument with him one time about like sexual harassment or assault or something. Like if a woman. Like there, I think you were telling me a story once about like a woman grabbing you or something like that, yeah. or like saying some you? shit to you. Hold on, hear she me out. Grabbed my cock, and yeah, but right. So like, all right, cool. And it's if wrong. a man, if a man, so yes, it is wrong. You shouldn't do that. Don't grab Jay's cock. But there's a. Do you think there's a difference from a woman doing that to Jay and Jay doing that to a woman? Grabbing her cock. 
Grab, grab her by the... No, I'm serious. <laughs> like I, I, yes. I think that would be a problem. Yeah, so I'd be like, you. uh... Like, a lot of people try to make like, that argument. You, like, see it on, you see it on social media today where like, oh, fucking oh, like a... Uh, like when Justin Bieber was accepting an award, I saw a video of like, I think it might have been Katy Perry trying to like kiss him or some shit. Yeah. And they're like, oh, if that was a man doing it to a little girl, it'd be way different. And You're some right. people think that that's unfair because like men don't get afforded the same... Yeah. Um, you right. know, like the, right. the same yeah. sympathy that they yeah. should if a woman molests them or touches them. Right. Correct. But do you think it's the same? It should be treated the same? So you're telling me if I I'm touch... No, no, no. I'm not telling you anything. I'm asking you. If you grab Jay by the balls yep. or if he grabs you by the vagine, yep. is it the same? It should be the same. It shouldn't be. All right. So, and that's that's a big, but that's a popular opinion. It should and be. And the reason, and I think Jay kind of agreed with you. He was like, no, it should be the same. I shouldn't be it treated any different. Here's why I don't think it's the same. Oh, I'd love to Because at the this. end of the day, right, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest, right? On I, average, okay. I like it. Forget about you and your CrossFit and all your shit. But think about like Are you a woman. On CrossFit? I'm not hating on I'm I'm talking about like your, because I don't want you to say some women could like, I'm not talking about the minority. I'm talking about. The average person. Okay. The average person at the end of the day, if they're in a room one on one with Jay, if Jay and a woman are locked in a room yep. and she tries to grab him and rape him, okay. it's probably not gonna happen. Unless but he if, wants if it's it to the, if, exactly if it's the <laughs> other way around, if it's the other way around, yep. the woman probably doesn't have a choice, it's just gonna happen and she's gonna get raped. Do you get what I'm saying? I do. Like there's I do there's a biological difference, which is why I don't think we should ever look at those two the same. Because at the end of the day, there's not a real threat. Like if you and me are down here and you're just like, "Come here, Josh, I'm gonna grab you." If I don't want to fuck, you're going to sleep and we're not fucking. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's kind of like. So are you I saying look... a dude can't get raped? No, hold on. Can I, See, can you're, I... you're trying to twist it now. When I'm trying to yeah. give you a very real reason on I, why I, I'm saying I'm, I agree with you. I'm saying why it shouldn't be looked at the same. Well, I'm saying that a dude could obviously be raped by another dude. No, a but the average dude cannot be raped by the average woman. Can I, can Notice I'm using those words average. Yeah, yeah, You're I some kind of like freakish athlete. <laughs> so you might be able to fuck Brandon whether he wants to be <laughs> fucked or not. But like if you find the average guy, they're just gonna clock you and you're not gonna rape them. But here's the difference, and this is what I wanna you know, this is where we were like differing when we were talking about this. So there's a difference between biologically, right? Because that's what you're talking about. You're talking about biologically, on average, blah blah. I'm yeah. talking about legally. Yeah. Legally, it's the same exact thing. <laughs> Whether a chick fucking gropes a dude or a dude grabs a chick. Damn. And that's the, that's, <laughs> that's the huge difference. Whether we're talking about by law or by, by, by biology. You're talking about biology. I'm talking about law. No, but I don't even think the law should be the same. Absolutely. If you grope uh, somebody that's unwanted, like assault should be assault no matter what. Yeah, Legally, hmm. right? What do you mean? Nah. If somebody touches you, because, that's unwanted. No, because it doesn't the, matter if it's a female or a male. Uh, we just disagree. We we disagree on it. You know Agree know? to disagree. Yeah, like, <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> we got another. I don't one. think there's a difference if Megan comes up to you and grabs you, or you grab her. There or, is, bro. Because if her intent is to rape me, I'm just gonna punch her in the face. Like <laughs> I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm not getting raped. Like, <laughs> right. But, but I'm if it's about the other way the around, law. it's gonna be a lot harder to. to so what if I that. tied you up? And then I raped you. Good. L how are you gonna oh, tie me up? I could, like, I, I could well, knock I you out just like you pants. said you were gonna knock how me the fuck not? out. I could knock you but the fuck you out. Though, put bro. you in handcuffs. That's what I'm saying. And the, that's rape where you the if that's I chose where the reality to. lives. Right? I don't know, that's talking. <laughs> <laughs> right though, <laughs> could I not rape I him know, if I chose to? I could knock you out. Right? I could pistol whip you. I could fucking knock you out with that fucking bottle. Hold on. Are we talking again? We talking by? Biologically, or are we talking about legally? Legally. By law. Legally. By law, it's the same shit. By legally. If I knock you out, tie you up, no, rape no, okay. you. That's, that's like, different. I'm saying you should get the same exact punt. It's, it, correct. You is should assault. get the same. Yes. No I, matter agree. If, I I'm who's... on your team on that one. I'm not on Whatever. But I understand what he's saying because biologically, yes. it's not going to happen if a male doesn't want it to happen. Right. Yeah. I get it. You ain't, you ain't knocking anybody out of it. It's not. <laughs> I'm just saying. You're going to get thrown over the shoulder and be like, you ain't raping me today. Go home. Try again I mean, tomorrow. I, I, I agree and disagree When I used to do you. CrossFit, there were some badass bitches. They all fucked me up. That's a minority. I'm not talking about these random fucking freak athletes like I'm just that are pickleball champions. <laughs> like I'm talking about the athletes. average bitch, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm talking about the average bitch. The average woman is not raping the average man unless a man True. allows it to happen. Facts. Correct. Allows it to happen. <laughs> I heard. I <laughs> Allow. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to G-chat me a lot. So, title of this podcast, <laughs> Allow. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I, I agree with you, man. No, but I mean, I'm happy with it. I think in the world, it's cool. You know, we let women have a voice or 
I think women are fucking up this whole country. Why are women fucking up the whole country? Yeah, just because they... they I think they're fucking up the youth a lot, you know? The youth? The youth and influencing the media a little too much. Okay, so I work with the youth, so let's... I love to hear this, of how we are fucking the youth. I'll say it in a a nutshell. So women are are more in tune emotionally. Correct. And I don't think that logically that's healthy for, you know, a society. I think women So you... So what do you feel how it should be then? What do you feel how it should be, Jay? <laughs> that's a good question. I gotta, hold that's on, a, let me think a, about a, that. Let me put that together. That's a, what do you think how it should feel? That's uh, a great <laughs> question. They don't talk good English like what I do. Mm, eat hard, read good. <laughs> let me, let me answer now, for a answer second, now Megan. me, please. Megan, that was a, a, a very profound question. Let me... <laughs> do you need a minute? Let Dude. me piece that Can shit together that? first. Dude. Can you repeat that? How do you not... <laughs> What do you think how it should be? <laughs> what do you think how it should be? <laughs> well, fuck is this bitch talking? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how it should be. Tell me how it should be then. How should the youth learn from men? I think women should just shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so if women shut the fuck up, what do men do then? Well, Keep we talking. Talk. Talk about what? Yeah. Do you think there's a big (laughs) movement over the last few years about celebrating female independence and not needing and not needing a man and you know like all that bullshit? You know, I think it's great. I think everyone should have their day and time, right? And it is what it is, right? You want to be you, you do you. That's the way I I feel about it. That contributes to more single mothers, and I think single parent households are a detriment to society. Why? Uh, because yeah, you're breaking down the family yeah, unit. You're, you're it, that's one thing. You're breaking that down, and the second you do that, you're you're directly setting up the next generation at a disadvantage. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. You know I hate the fact that you know my daughter, like me and my, is raised by my, a single mom or yeah, a single dad, like I separate. It. Yeah, I hate it. Bro, I just I mm. I I live with you know what I'm saying like we yeah. have a, a norm like not normal but you know, like know a traditional family. family unit, mm-hmm. and there are just so many things that happen every day, yeah. every day at random times, where I couldn't imagine like damn like if we ever split up this is something I I wouldn't have seen. But this I'm gonna would, tell I wouldn't you be a part of this. You know, what I mean? have a fabulous relationship with my baby's father. Like, we are best friends. I love him. If my kids do something, like you said, like if they win a trophy, right? Even though he's yeah. usually there or something. But are they your kids? A hundred percent, my children. How do you know though? Because they came out of my <laughs> vagina. Like, obviously, I know they're my children. <laughs> like, right? All right. But oh, I yeah. love my baby's father, and I love him to parents. death. I we are great parent. We're co-parenting. My kids are great. Like, moral ethics. They have everything. So let me ask you this. Together, Jay or Brandon, either one of you can answer this. If you knew nothing about me <laughs> as a parent, Sasha and I as parents, and you knew nothing about Megan and her baby daddy as parents, <laughs> who would you say as kids have a better chance at life? If the only thing you knew was my kids live with mom and dad and your kids live with mom and dad separately. Oh. Mine. No shot. No. You, no, and nobody, you have no shot. Nobody would ever think that, though. No way. Because the reality is, is whatever you give to your kids, 110%. If, I give, if I give the same, right? If, yeah. we, if we give the same exact thing, yeah. however, my kids have both parents at their beck and call all the time in the same house. That's that doesn't always happen, though, does it? No, it, I'm not saying it does happen. What I am saying is when it does happen, mm-hmm. that's an advantage. When it doesn't happen, it's a disadvantage. <laughs> so I don't think that we should perpetuate anything that promotes that, like, it's okay or it's good or it's celebrated to raise kids not in a traditional family unit. Because you right. might not realize it, bro, but you might not realize it. Little boys need a dad around 24-7. And little as girls. do little girls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they need a mom 24-7. Yeah. You know, so every time... I disagree with you. You can disagree. I I disagree wholeheartedly. You're talking to somebody that was raised by a single mom. Can you quantify that? A hundred percent, I disagree. You can. A hundred percent. Because I feel like you can raise them separately, but together. It it, it doesn't make sense, but it does make sense. If you two can get along and do everything together and do everything for your son or your daughter, it shouldn't matter. You can do a good job. I I know you can do a great job. I am doing can, a great job. Can, I'm like I know. I'm not. I put 110 percent into those children. 
But at the end of the day, everything that you could do, right? Everything mm-hmm. that you do do, yep. I my do wife can do and does do. 100%. But there are some things that your husband or that their dad can do that you can't do. Mm-hmm. There are words they can use. There are tones they can use. There are yeah. feelings they can instill in the boys yeah. that you cannot do. And there are going to be times where things happen yeah. where he's not available to do that because you guys are separated for whatever yeah. that reason is. 100%. Whether it be a nightmare, whether it be help with homework, whether it mm-hmm. be a quick, smart-ass thing they say to you mm-hmm. that you have to react to where it should be the dad reacting to that. You know what I mean? Like No, it's called a phone call. FaceTime. No mm-hmm. matter what it is, he's 100% available all They're, the time. It's not, though. I, it, I know I'm that just, it might feel good to say 100% available I'm just available saying all the time, 100%. But what if it's 3 a.m. and they have a nightmare? I'll You're call t- him at 3 a.m. and, and he, I'll be like, yeah. hey, your son needs you, and, and he would be there And there's zero seconds. chance he doesn't answer. There's well, zero well, chance he's not home. He might be sleeping. I'll agree with you. No, no, hold on. Let me finish, though. Don't interrupt, please. You guys have been going back and forth. Hold on. Can you just not interrupt, bro? Like, this is an issue. 20 minutes. Don't interrupt. I just want to get one word in. You can, bro, when we're done, though. Like, I'm ready to listen to you, but I'm done. I'll just shut off my mic. Thank you. So here's the thing. is like, he might not answer at 3 a.m. Yep. When dad is there, he's always going to be there to just wake up and be like, hey, man, listen, I know you're scared. Go back to bed. Enough of the bullshit. I don't disagree with you. So what I'm saying is the kid needs two things right there he needs mom to be like it's gonna be all right baby don't worry about it and he, ne- he needs dad to be like hey listen don't cry man you're scared but you got to deal with this shit we'll talk about it later you know like so they always need a mom and a dad figure i'm not saying you can't be great as a single mom or a single dad mm-hmm. but it will never be the same as having both parents in the household you know i i let me tell you this i'm a protege of two parents okay that were together and they still are together and they hate one another and i learned hate and I and that's why I'm semi yeah, fucked up. And, and listen, that's, that's anecdotal, and, and, though. Yeah, it's anecdotal, anecdotal, right? Anecdotal. But I'm fucked up even as an adult right now that's, with we issues. We would never guess Respectfully, that. Hopefully, you don't matter. But but you, what <laughs> like, do you mean I don't matter? I, I mean, was that's the just child. Your personal experience. Correct. I'm talking about but the overall. Better even man. overall, you're telling me that kids that you know have two parents together that are fighting, that are screaming, that Brandon. are. You know? Well, no, you're you're painting a picture for how you want it to work. Right? No, I'm just you're, saying you're sitting that are argument. fighting and screaming. You know what I mean? Like whatever it is, you and, an unhealthy you and your relationship. Fiance never argue. Is oh, that what you're saying? I'm just saying. Like, do you say? Well, do you never argue? <laughs> we actually really don't. But wait, can, can, I, can I pose a question? <laughs> we actually right, really so don't. But I agree. I understand what you're saying. Let's put it in like a real simple question. Is okay. it more advantageous from a child's perspective, growing up and forming, to have both parents or a single parent? I What's agree more, both. I agree okay. both. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I agree both. I but it was all right for us to put that, some like, context to it. Of course. 100%. Uh, it's we're not both. saying that like, I agree. women can't raise children by herself or men can't do it, whatever. Blah, but blah, even blah. co-parenting, like or you can you can do yeah, it together, it's just absolutely. separately. Like, ideal, both parents together. Secondly, yeah. separated parents but co-parenting. Yeah. And then after that would be single Okay, parents, I agree I mean? to that point, but all I'm yeah. saying is, like, you can do it, even though you're not together. Yeah, nobody, you you can do you it. Can, like, you're talking to... You can do like, it. I was raised by a single parent. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you can do it, you know? I know, it can be done. Absolutely. I was raised by a single parent. That's you know? what I'm saying, and I, and I love, like I said, I love their dad. I However, would do anything if, for their father. if I had a dad throughout my life, I think I would have been in a better off spot, hmm. you know, because at 16, 17, I didn't know how to be a man. You know, like, I only knew what my mother had taught me on just... And she's not a man. Living, living. Mm-hmm. You know, like, she couldn't teach me how to be a man. Was she your dad can't. in your life? No. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm sorry. But, I didn't know that. No, it's all right. <laughs> You're talking about the, J2, the J2DCC club. <laughs> D-D-C club. Absolutely. J2 dad dad club. All of our dads are dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. That's terrible. I'm sorry. No. That. We celebrate it. It's life. Um, I'm sorry. It happens. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, like, and, and this, I mean this respectfully, like, you can't teach your kids to be men. You know, they need a man to teach them to be men. They have their father. I know that. And they I'm have saying. Kevin. You know what I'm saying? What, they have a family. I have no, a family like, unit. That's the point that I'm trying to make. You're right. I can't do yeah. it. I don't understand dick problems and, you know, all that shit. But uh, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully they don't have it. Like you know what? I got a <laughs> like, 13-year-old daughter. I can't exactly. teach her how to be a woman. It, well, exactly. true. When she gets her period and goes whatever, through all the changes and all that stuff. Whatever being a woman is, whatever that is, I can't. I, I don't know because I'm a man. But you also can guide her in a way of... That's it. Being that's knowledgeable, if she comes of, to you. The scope of what we're talking about, but yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm just saying, you'll do anything for her. Yeah. Am I wrong? Yeah. It's anything for your daughter? Better than her wandering limited, the world by herself. It, <laughs> yes. What I can do is limited to my biological sex. 
you still can have knowledge and teach her everything that yeah. you know. Yeah, but I can't I think, do it like I a woman could. I think we've beat this topic to death. I think we beat. These I think we dicks all agree. And now we're just saying about you. We do up. agree. I'm just saying. But do yeah, they have dicks and vaginas? Let's wrap it up. <laughs> do, Let's wrap it up. <laughs> we're wrapping. Just, we're wrapping it up on this subject. Yeah, yeah, we're wrapping it up on this subject right now. Two and a half hours now. Let's wrap it up. Yeah, yeah. You know, this yes. is, this has been a fun talk though, right? This has. Okay. And I guys, I thank you did so you much for blast? having me. I did, and I love you guys and no disrespect here. No dicks and vaginas. <laughs> no. Always goes back to the dicks and vaginas. <laughs> what did you say when you first got you're like, I don't make my tits look good enough for I camera. know my boobies are gonna look good. Gotta look Got some big titties. Just wear a different shirt. Shout out to Big Titty. I don't know. Shout out to Big Shout out to Big Titty. No. Wardrobe. We, we, need wardrobe. More, we need wardrobe. We need wardrobe. No, no, no. Yeah. I had a hey, lot of fun, guys. You Can guys are awesome. Shirt that shows more decolletage. <laughs> decolletage. If, you show, if I show my titties, you're going to show your dicks, though. Done. Done. That's, you first. <laughs> you first. Go, go, go. Yours looks like an ant eater, so let's see the ant. It's got claws. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Listen, no, I thank Megan, you guys. Thank you for coming. No, anytime. Anytime. Thank everybody for listening. Thank you guys. Thank I'm you. Coming. Thank you, person. Brandon. Brandon. Larry Pilati. Pilati. How do we tell you? I love you guys. How do we We're done. We're done. So we out. Farewell (laughs) to you, my friends. Goodbye. (laughs) Oh my god.